another blind wave movie commentary and we are back it's been a little bit with harry potter yeah this is uh movie four mm -hmm. the goblet of fire four. Four. Mm -hmm. i thought we finished it last time no no no, no. that man. was just the beginning oh man that was just the the first three well, this is the last year because college is only four years and high school is only four years right no how, how wrong This is more are. like junior high and high school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. This is like uh, my this, high this school. This is like Fort Fry. Yeah, like Fort Fry because elementary school was K to 6 and then pretty much high school was 7 to, to 12. But that uh -huh. was only because it's all in the same building. So it's like Boy Meets World. I think sure. this is like yeah. secondary school and college. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like, I think. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're back. We've seen the first three movies now with the commentary. So you guys, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check those out because that was awesome. And now we're moving on to the fourth movie, Goblet of Fire, the one where they all need a haircut. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Even Hermione. Uh, no, she's pretty, she's pretty good in this okay. one. Yeah. But okay. this is a uh, this is a this is a great movie. This is I have not seen this movie since I've seen Doctor Who with David Tennant. So that's going to be exciting because he is in this movie. Yeah, I haven't either. Briefly, but he's in there, you know? And I haven't my, seen all of them. One of my favorite characters, Mad-Eye Moody, is in this movie. So yeah, I remember him. Yeah. I still in it for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Technically. <laughs> so I say we jump right into it. Get started. Calvin, where are we? We are right before the... Uh, 220. The music starts playing and the Warner Brothers title screen flies past the camera we're right after that we're right before right that because that. that's where okay. the music starts gotcha it, it so the... right after that it goes right in the movie okay and we'll see nagini and everything okay sounds good all right we're gonna push play in three two one play all right so it's pretty much just the right at the beginning of the movie. yeah it's like two yeah. seconds in on the blu-ray All right, I'm excited. This is, uh, I haven't seen this for a long time. This is our introduction to Voldemort and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, yeah. a reintroduction. Also, our first intro that's not focused on Harry. I this, think. this is the first one I saw in theaters. I saw with you. Really? Uh, buddy of, yeah. Snake. Is this I'm going to kill you. Is that, is that in this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was the first one I saw. Uh, I think so, yeah. I'm going to kill you very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? Yeah, I do. Oh. Do you remember that? <laughs> remember that death threat? <laughs> it was a death threat that started with this movie that went on for years. I'm going to kill you very quietly. Where are That's a hell of a grave right there. That gravestone. Like, right? I want a gravestone like that. Yeah, me too. Like, you Said I wanted to be a Glockfus tortoise. You didn't have a good life if that's your gravestone. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They just put the angel of death on there. Maybe you had a great life. Agent Casey here. Yeah, he's Agent, Agent Casey, Casey in Mexico <laughs> yeah. or whatever it was. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was a fictional communist Angel place. of death. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. Sheesh. Let's see. This is directed by Mike Newell, I think, which is his only entry into the series. Why? Wow, it's pretty good. I don't know why. I remember uh, reading the book um, Goblet of Fire, and this is the first scene, and it goes on for a decent while, and I'm like, am I? I like, I would read it, and it's talking about this old caretaker in this old house. Yeah. And I like switch to the cover. I'm like, am I reading Harry Potter? What the hell is this? Yeah. yeah. And then it goes into it. So is this like the graveyard keeper? Or yeah. So this is the old riddle house. Oh, um, he takes care of the riddle house. He's the yeah. groundskeeper. And uh, uh, it, it talks about how, you know, he. Why, why is he still here? Well, because the riddle fortune still pays for him. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. He just takes care of the, the hedges and the gardens and stuff like that. But the old riddle house is supposedly haunted. You know, this is a muggle. I think his name is Frank, maybe? Frank. Something like that. Something like that. It's a very ordinary name. But, very you know, one, name. one day, uh, the Riddles were just found dead. And he just stayed there. They wake you know? up that way? They did not. Oh. They did not wake up dead. They should have got the guy from Green Mile. Which what? guy? The guy who what, was the like the ward of the prison. Oh, yeah? No, nah, I think the, he's an American actor. This guy here looks This guy familiar. needs to be British. I don't know who this guy is. I think that guy could pull off British. No, Michael Clark Duncan. That's what we should have gotten. For his? From the Green Mile. <laughs> yeah. Tom Hanks. That's not recognizable. Is he scared too? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. There's oh, stuff going on. Yeah. Voldemort. Yeah. He thinks that it's kids that keep breaking into the house and using it for drinking. Yeah. It says, Dude, in, the, it says little, in the books. Look at the little hand. Is. Yep. Grab my strong hand. <laughs> Can, we subs? Can we put subs on? There's David Tennant. Yeah. He looks so different. 
mm-hmm. from what I'm used to. Dude, that would freak me the fuck out. I'd like, and just jump down the stairs. Oh, shit, he's talking shit. Look how young he looks. David Tennant? Yeah. Yeah. It's a rat. Wormtail. No, you can't use that spell. It's against the rules. Did the baby do it? <laughs> yeah. The little baby. The little hand? Yeah. It's such a small hand. Is it too late to put on subs? Can we try it? I asked twice. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, we also don't see the uh, the Dursleys in the beginning either of this movie. I forgot. Man, I, I love the intro to this book because we get that riddle sequence and then we go here with the Quidditch World Cup. Yeah. They, they cut a lot of the World Cup out in the, in the movie and they have to. It's a long movie. Yeah, it is. You know? It is a very long sequence in the book. But it, it, it's really cool to read about like professional Quidditch players. <laughs> doesn't this book, like, doesn't this movie is one of the one, like the first ones that really change and diverge and cut stuff out? No, three was definitely the, the first one to change and diverge. Um Especially cut stuff out. This one, I mean, doesn't diverge too much. It just cuts things out. Hey, there's Batman. He just came out of the trees. Yeah, he pulled like a Batman. Batman move. Yeah. Yeah. Is Merlin a real wizard in this world? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was one of the first wizards in this world. Really? Uh, in fact, one of the, like, uh, uh, an award you get, like, you know, like a Medal of Honor is, like, Order of Merlin. Hmm. It's something you can become part of yeah Dumbledore has it yep Merlin is also one of the uh, wizards featured in the trading cards from the first movie <clears throat> gotcha. there's, a, there's a Dumbledore trading card you can get a Merlin one too <laughs> so I didn't know if it was it just like a, Sam Neil. a lore thing or yeah. something they just said so the it's a port key why would you not do what everyone else was doing <laughs> right he's a muggle he should understand conformism <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a kind of way it's a way to teleport it's like the with bucket. kids, yeah. This is like the rich way to do, right? Um, there's a fire. Yeah. The fireplace is like what the poor kids do, right? Yeah, yeah. A, a port key is a little. Uh, I think it's m- more difficult magic, maybe. Well, they landed much better. And oh, Cedric. and Cedric did too. Then they just floated down like Mary Poppins. Yeah. Right. Well, they're accustomed to doing it as well. I think the rest of them, it was like only their seconder. Yeah, it's probably like driving. You have to practice or something. You yeah. Know? Or gliding. Yeah. See, so Cedric's an older one too, right? Like he's uh, yeah. head in years, like fourth year or something. I think, yeah. He, he, I think he's, he's fifth year. He's fifth or sixth, actually. Yeah. yeah. They're he, in their fourth. I think he might, he might even be in his seventh. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because that is another one of the things that is... I know he's crazy pre- about the plot of this movie. I know he's a prefix, so he has to at least be in the sixth year. Okay. Yep. This, this looks, this looks like a weird lot of fun. Gun thing that <laughs> George Andor. Are they yeah. all going to just fit in this tent? Yeah, this is the TARDIS moment, man. Yeah. You should have David Tennant in this scene. Yeah, I should have. Right? It's bigger on the inside, <laughs> it's smaller on the outside. Nice. It's pretty nice inside. Yeah. The outside looks just crappy. Yeah. Tent with a kitchen. I love how a few years in, Harry's still being exposed yeah. to new things. It, it's the smart thing that J.K. Rowling did was just have him experience everything with the uh, with the reader. Dude, look at this Super Bowl looking place. I love how the the like the canopy and everything is just yeah. held up by the wind. Yeah. It's Dude, really I, cool. I love that if you have a front row seat, it's actually probably the worst seat. Yeah, because it's so low. <laughs> because you want to be looking up. Oh, shit. In the minister's box. Mm. Don't post Draco. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your house, elf bitch. He did. 
If he was smart, he would, have, he would have taken his yeah. wand out of his cane. Did <laughs> you say why you can't be? Man, you know Voldemort's that. coming back or what? He knows. The wall of that, of the people, yeah, you know? It's, it's crazy. crazy. Like seeing at the school, they just had like towers around, you know? Yeah. And this is like... Yeah, the top feels like it'd be the best. Yeah, they're at the very top. I love. I definitely want to be at the top. Yeah, I would definitely want to be at the top. If it too. rains, you'll be the first to know. It's like, shut up. We'll see Look all this there. stuff. I figured it con firework. Well, uh, I figured any like it'd be like, like uh, with Napoleon, like any sympathizers would be just executed. <laughs> like all, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the idea of him coming back. I figured that everyone would be so scared and of that yeah. that they would be. You know, that they would really come down Whoa. hard on Voldemort sympathizers. So it's Ireland versus who? Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With their star seeker, Victor Crumb. Victor D Crumb. I love that it said, oh, that's cool. How do they do that? They turn all those people into a giant <laughs> TV. It's like they're holding up strips of paper and there's like a projector. No. Except it's magic. <laughs> All the paper changes colors. The only thing Ireland got was top of the morning. <laughs> That's all they got. I love them. Yeah. There's no microphone. It's just a wand pushed it's up a, to his neck. It's a spell he's doing. You know? Yeah. Projecting your voice. 422 of these things, man. It kind of runs in uh, Sea of Thieves now. If you talk in game, there's now like this like megaphone like yeah. thing you can put up to talk further away. Sure, huh. just kind of reminds me like that's how he's talking. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I just I, I as a part of me that wish I could have seen like what would the visual representation of pro Quidditch players what would it look like? You know? Yeah. Wait, so we skipped over the whole the whole yep. thing. We didn't get to see one match. No, nope, not, not one. No, nope. no. Nope. But we do know from the book that. Despite, uh, I think Crumb catches the snitch, but Ireland still wins. What? Because, because of the they points. Get, they get more than 150 points before he catches it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Really? Damn. It, it, it took points? so long for him to find the, the snitch. And Ireland was so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it really goes to show, like, there's more than just catching yeah. the snitch. So this is what uh, Lucius Malfoy was talking about. I mean, they got to have so many. Jeez, man. All those people, how many Death Eaters are there? Well, there's more than you think. Aren't and you got to remember, too, like a lot of this corruption stuff is inside the, mis the ministry. You know? at, at this point, does like Fudge the, know about it? Uh, no, I thought he's no. deceived, kind of. Like, he doesn't no, believe F it. Fudge doesn't. Yeah, he, he, F the Minister of Magic doesn't believe any of this stuff. He just thinks that these guys are just, you know, roughhousing around, you know, trying yeah. to get people in trouble. Well, well it's a fire. <laughs> yeah. At this point, does Harry know what a Death Eater is? No. Not at this point. I don't believe so. I don't think he's... At least he hasn't heard the name. He knows about Voldemort supporters, obviously, with uh, with Sirius' allegations last time. Yeah. But I think the word Death Eater is introduced here. So instead of, like, France, time of Napoleon, this is, like, America. Like, you could be a Nazi. You mm. just... It's, a, it's like a dick thing to do. Is that, is that kind of what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could have the beliefs that you want. I mean... Jeez. I think yeah. it should be like Napoleon. They just kill everyone. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that's that only brings good things to society. What are you talking about? He never came back. What are you what are you talking about? I'm talking about Napoleon trying to come back and sympathizers were just like, no, he sucks. Yeah. You know, and they were executed or they were put in prison. Mm-hmm. Because they don't want him coming back. And yeah, you, I you mean, figured they wouldn't want Mortimer coming back if yeah. he's like he's like Hitler, right? Yeah, but I mean you gotta remember too, like in the wizarding community, like all of these Death Eaters guys, like none of them are like poor guys with no influence yeah like they're all like the top people of the society you know what i'm saying good point so i mean it's, it's like the it's fascist. like saying like why don't we just get rid of the illuminati just get rid of them it's like the <laughs> fascist know? movement in in uh 1930s england yeah. then, okay. you, then you find out the illuminati is the president and yeah. putin and the and fucking pope <laughs> like, how do you get rid of that they're all worshiping worshiping an owl statue and giving what? sacrifices oh, shit i would say earlier harry potter was super lucky because he got, he was crawling on the ground and got hit and knocked out. Yeah. But then once that happened, no one stepped no on one him stepped at all. On him. <laughs> I was like, man. Yeah. And, the, you know, the oars show up immediately, too, as they're trying to, to fix things. We need to get a mark. We have a mark. No, like a dark mark. 
It's like an upside down blind wave symbol. Like a yeah. That guy slightly reminds me of Jay Jonah. Uh, yeah, J.K. Simmons. He reminds me of uh, <laughs> you should, the guy who plays a little bit. I he, can see it. He reminds me of the guy who plays Roland Timbo from Jurassic Park 2, Lost World. He's hunting the T-Rex. Mm, a little bit. Guy from Dragonheart. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. A monk. So Harry didn't see uh, <laughs> Junior there. He just saw like a guy shooting he, he up in the sky. He saw a guy, yeah. Um... And, you know, these Death Eaters, they all come out, you know, the stories that, you know, they get drunk and they start thinking about the old days. Like, yeah, let's, let's show them that we're still here. And they, they do that. Barty Crash Jr. shows up and he throws up the Dark Mark, which is, which, you know, it's the symbol of Voldemort. Mm-hmm. And the Death Eaters actually scatter because they're kind of, they're, they're, they're scared. They're scared, you know? Like, they're not super serious about this stuff anymore, you know? Yeah. Un- until Voldemort returns. So most of them at this point <laughs> didn't know he was returning? I'm thinking no, that, like they don't know that he's alive. Only okay. Barty Crouch Jr. Like he's the one that you know he goes to jail for it. All the other people deny him. Barty Crouch Jr. would never deny. You know, I was thinking of like a real life like alliteration to that, and then I stopped because I didn't want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Careful with those. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius, like, Lucius knows that, right? He does not know that Voldemort's returning. Oh, I thought that's why he's doing no, Harry he's, Potter. No, like, he was enjoy talking, it while you can. No, he was talking about that they were gonna do this. Oh, okay, the Death Eaters are gonna. They're rah, just gonna rah, have rah. a little fun riot. Mm-hmm. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Just some harmless rioting. Yeah. No, but I mean, they're not they're not good people per se, but they also yeah. weren't they're not super like we really want Voldemort back. You like get a random group of Nazis being like, remember the old days were Nazis? And then all of a sudden yeah. someone's like, oh yeah, let's bring back they Hitler. Would, and they're like, wait, what? And they all leave. I mean, yeah. they would. <laughs> For the SS. <laughs> they would love if he came back. They just don't see it as a possibility. Like, no, he's dead and we have no power without him, you know? So gotcha. we're just going to, you know, every once in a while we get drunk and light some tents on fire and people remember us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just to know that we're out here. It's like you high know? school, man. Okay. I don't hey, understand your high school. <laughs> we out here. Set some shit on fire. The bridge. They flew the car under. So all that was during like the not school. Yeah, season. that was in the summer. Now were they? They were using magic in places, right? So is that in the? It was just in a sanctioned, safe Quidditchy place. Was the kids using magic? I mean, they had like tents. And I imagine yeah, there was magic there being had. That's like being driven in a car. The other person's license. You're all just right. in the car. As long as the kids aren't yeah. using the magic yeah. themselves. Okay. Is it? This, I can't remember. Is it until you graduate, or is it a certain year? It's a certain year, I believe. Okay, dude, that's like the thing they used in uh, *Crimson Grindelwald*, the flying horses on a carriage and stuff. Similar. Yeah. This one's cool though. What the? Whoa. It's like Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, but he did it the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, uh, Davy Jones' ship, the Flying Dutchman. Yeah. <clears throat> I just remember the first one. And you, he steps off, and it's just the top of the boat, and it's sinking. Yeah, <laughs> he just barely makes it to the to the dock. This movie really opens up the world too. Look at Filch. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> he's got like a Charlie horse in his leg. He's still running. He's like grabbing his heart. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's so goofy in this, man. He's trying to breathe. Another doctor. <laughs> He's everything. We have, we have two doctors in this. It's great. He's an Abraham Satrakian <laughs> vampire killer. And stuff. I've watched him. <laughs> him running. So funny. <laughs> I love it. It's high stepping. I like what we saw, though, back at the Quidditch thing, too, because, like, you saw, like, different, like, countries and cultures yeah. and stuff there, too, and it was really neat. Yeah. So, like, it makes you think about, like, all the schools. Because I know, like, there's an American school, you know, with, like, the Thunderbirds mm-hmm. and whatnot. And then there's this one. But yeah. I never thought, about, like, if there's any other schools. Yeah. It makes you, like, think yeah. about those, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a French school, too, right? Because that's where Fleur is from. Which Le is Fleur. Yeah, that's, we'll get that in this. Which, I mean, one strange thing that they changed in the movies is it implies that uh, Bobaton or whatever it's called is all female, all girl, and the other one's all and boy. And the other one's all boy, but that's just not the case. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Um, bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> Do they all just come in? Ah, oh, there's like yeah. butterflies flying around. <laughs> One, geez, she is big. 
Yeah. Look at her next to Dumbledore. Jeez, I don't remember this. <laughs> Madame Maxine. I only remember Floor. Yeah, you're standing <laughs> up clapping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Hermione. Hermione looks background. upset. I don't even remember Floor because that was like Melanie's favorite character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what she looks like. I love the Durmstrang theme song. My favorite song in this movie. Igor Karkov. Kakarov. Oh, Kakarov. Dude, their staff's like... Spark? No, not that. Like that. The weirding yeah. way? They have like a, <laughs> yeah. Like they spark too. I think the color guard's better than them. They, yeah, they were. Yeah, they can do this shit though. The, the Warren one was. Not, not, your, not yours. Yeah, you guys couldn't do that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can do that. That's shit. Crumb just gets to walk in. I thought that was well, Sam. I look was, at his robe. I thought that was uh, uh, Schofield for a second. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Schofield. <Yeah. laughs> like when he walked in wearing that thing, and I was like, that's Schofield? Kakaro. He's a former Death Eater, right? He is. Igor. Man, those guys, what does their school do when they walk in? And now Hogwarts! And they're just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> you know, like they came in, they like do butterflies and stuff and giant women. Giant women. Giant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Hagrid. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Hello. Like, there's a big woman. <laughs> oh man that was deep ah. that was deep jeez That's well crazy. imagine Andre the Giant stabbing you with a fork in the hand <laughs> I love Warwick oh yeah no, oh, yeah I don't know if I liked his look before or now me either it's, you know oh, I, I, I prefer this one you like this yeah. one better I prefer before it was more like old man well it was also yeah. like really prosthetic-y and like he just had like all these Weird, weird lumps features on his yeah. face and stuff. Like it didn't look like a person, you know. Well, he's supposed to now. Look he just like looks a, like a person, a goblin, right? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, I think not, Flitwick sorry. is just. I think it was implied that Flitwick, like in his experiments, just shrunk himself permanently. Really? <laughs> I think huh. so. <laughs> okay. Jeez, that guy's creepy yeah. looking. Old Mad Eye. Mad Eye just walks. What is going on? He's stopping the storm. Why was there a storm? Because it matches the outside and it's storming right now. So he's missing one eye, but he has his eye patch that looks like an eye. It's just freaky. A magical eye. It's freaky looking. That's it's actually it a better eye than the other than eye. Than a real eye? Yeah. yeah. You I can mean, see through things. I mean, it's a better eye than no eye. I love how he's just a legend, you know, now. Yeah. Old, kind of past his prime, better. I mean, yeah, he's just that lost his family. retired cop. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's like Robocop. He's like, Lundy, Calvin, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Better. <laughs> One of his feet are like a steel boot. Yeah, he needs that to survive. Keep his uh, form, right, Eric? Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's from the very beginning he swapped out? Yeah. Yeah. We never actually get to meet Mad Eye Moody till the end of this movie. I thought he was just a drunk. <laughs> well, <laughs> when, I, when I first watched it, Barty Crouch Jr. like he has him, he keeps him, he questions him, and you know learns about him and stuff throughout the year too, so he can make sure it it's better. Jeez, <laughs> this is a screamy Dumbledore. Yeah, the movie is famous for a lot of things, but I think it's most famous for its screamy Dumbledore. Yeah, people are like, why is he screaming? Commands the entire castle with a whisper. So they kept the goblet in that box. Mm-hmm. Thing? This sounds so ominous. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so I don't get dangerous. like why can't you turn back? You just you can't. You, it's a it's a magical contract when you put your name into the goblet of fire. What would happen it's, if you just went home? It's like absec- uh, accepting the terms of service. Yeah. <laughs> but what's I mean? Would Mad Eye Moody come kill you? Or I don't right? think you'll die or anything. Well, that's it, what I'm wondering. Like, is it? 
I think they're just showing the importance of how serious it is to put your name in. Yeah. Okay. And it has to touch on it here in a little bit, but like it being a contract, like what's the rules of someone else just putting anyone's name into it? That's like, shouldn't that be like, that's part of the movie. <laughs> that should be like, the, like, if it's a magical contract, like you sh- it shouldn't work. Right. Yeah. And that shouldn't that be the idea? But no, yeah, I know. Like Harry shows up in it and stuff, mm-hmm. but like, it's like, well, but for a contract, it seems weird. Like if Calvin just signed my name and now I'm in a contract. Like, wait a minute, that it's wasn't like, me. It's like Old Testament kind of contract. Yeah, you know I mean, like every, you know, it's. Well, it's not in, if you're in, you're in. It's not quite that simple just to sign somebody's name and throw it in. We'll we'll hear more about it later. Weirdly enough, Barty Crash Jr. is the best teacher they've had yet. Yeah. <laughs> like he yeah. knows the most. He's a great like I remember this lesson more than any other lesson from the books yeah. or movies. <laughs> he throws chalk at <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever have a teacher throw chalk at you? Yeah. Your mom? Yeah, who? <laughs> <laughs> like your mom or dad. You set me up for that one, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a teacher throw chalk at me, Mr. Larrabee. Don't they don't do that anymore. No, mm-hmm. I never saw it, but I think it was in my sister's grade. One of our teachers was throwing in an eraser. Yeah. Like, threw erasers from their board at a kid. Yeah. Like, what are you... Ah! It was like throwing, and they ran out of the room. Jeez. <laughs> like the kid did. Jeez. <laughs> like, get out! <laughs> I remember there was a kid sleeping in my class, and Mr. Franklin was, like, flicking pieces of paper in his mouth, like, going like this. <laughs> And he was just like, mouth was open, there's paper in his mouth. Like, he Ugh. could choke. Yeah, what is this thing, a crab spider? Oh. I have those things in my basement. In Gorgio. He's got to make it bigger so you can see the effects. What was Imperio? The Imperious Curse. It's the commanding curse. Oh, I, w- I would not like that, man, at all. Mind control. Oh, so he's making it do what he wanted to do. Then. Yep. Ron hates spiders. <laughs> So what is, what is this thing? Oh, it's just a it's a nasty fucking spider thing. Yeah, is it a spider? Because it kind of reminds me of a crab as yeah, well. It's a, well, it's got little little grabby arm things. Yeah, I think it's implied it's a, you know it's a fantasy creature, but it's just like a different kind of spider. Showing like how evil wow yeah it can be. I love I love that because not only that's something that Moody would say, it's something Barty Crouch Jr. would say because he yeah. hates the people that denied his master. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. It's also in a way of like it reminds me of Barty Crouch the way he delivers that too. Yeah. A little bit. Like he's like the liars. You yeah. know, the <laughs> that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the way he said it reminds me of that too. It's done really well. Uh He does a really good job of like explaining that too, because like it's all fun and games and stuff, like, and it's funny, and it's like, now nah, I drown it, and they're like, wait, yeah. what? Yeah. You know, and it catches your attention real quick too. Yeah. You know, it's like, look how bad this can be. This is especially cruel that he picks Neville, because Mad Eye Moody would know that Neville's <clears throat> parents parents were tortured and dr- driven insane by the Cruciatus Curse. They were ours. But Barty Crouch Jr. was there. Yeah. When Beatrix Lestrange did it. It's just, it's so cruel. Yeah. But here it just seems like kind of tough love, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. I feel bad for that spider. Mm. Oh. I like that faint Voldemort scream. Yeah. Right yeah. Man, it's a hell of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I hope some chicks heard that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Say it for those yeah, fucking baby. French girls. <laughs> <laughs> See, there uh, it is the, again, you yeah, know? The I love it. And it's the time where he really needs to be acting, you know? He's like, mm-hmm. oh, it's like he kid, does that, and then he, kid. then he drinks his stuff, you know? Yeah. 
I don't think it's pumpkin juice. And with the context of the movie, thinking about the whole thing, like he's only here to get Harry there yeah. for that graveyard. It, that whole class, though, was done really well. No, was, I kind of yeah. agree. Like a lot of the stuff we've seen with Dark Arts is like they didn't really teach like, anything. Yeah, the pixies and, you know. I mean, there was the one, um, we talked about the uh, the dream, didn't mm-hmm. we, last time? Like the um, the thing you most feared. We had yeah. the moon and no, all but, that kind but of Bogger. stuff. We didn't, yeah. Lupin is, I think Lupin's a fantastic teacher, too. I just think that Moody, like if it was the real Moody, I just think that there's something about him that I would like, I'd never forget what he said, you know? Well, especially the subject he chose there of like the yeah. three the three spells the, you yeah. can't use, the unforgivable ones. Yeah. So controlling somebody, torturing somebody, and killing somebody. And it's not that he's just telling you what happens, he's showing it, so you know? Is that magic, Eric? The, the, the stained glass crying or what? No, no I think it's, it's just the rain. Yeah, I think it's just the rain. Okay. He's looping me think of Einan from Dragonheart. <laughs> yep. Move. Then she dies. What's with the ring around the goblet? Uh, Only it is an age ring. Yeah. So you have to be a proper age <clears throat> to be able to go to get, get into it. it. So the natural question is what happens when you're too young? What do you think? Uh, you go bah, and you fly backwards <laughs> and die. Not die, but you probably just get ugh. Sarah, have you you've seen this movie like what once or before? Yeah, I don't know. I remember watching some of these. I remember watching the a couple of the earlier ones, yeah. like when they came <laughs> out. But then, like we watched through all of yeah. them back at Ingleside and stuff. So you're going I, through this kind of <clears throat> basically blind. Yeah, there's been one time going through yeah. all of them. So Fred and George, the twins here, the twins, they take that potion. It makes them just slightly older because they only had a couple more months. Oh. Uh. There's no I, way he would have thought of it. <laughs> I would have loved for it to work. Oh, they made it in. They say yes, so weird. Yeah. Yeah. I wish there was some like physical changes, you know. <laughs> oh. <coughs> it's like Ghostbusters getting hit. Right. <laughs> Uh, now they're old. You want to be old, huh? <laughs> they start fighting you each other. You said. <laughs> I think Dumb- in the book, Dumbledore like shows up and compliments their beards. Yeah. Mm. I think you've grown very good beards. Look at this guy. Looks like a guy this I used guy, to go to school with. This guy's intense. He plays pro Quidditch, and he's still in school. Oh, is that the guy that That's was Victor the Crumb. best, uh, yep. the best yep. uh, seeker? <laughs> so you can get in. Once you put your th- your thing in the Goblet of Fire, it makes you old. And then people know <laughs> that you did it because you're old, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it like a wear off after so long yeah, or anything? Yeah, it does. Uh, <clears throat> actually, I, I, it does, but I'm pretty sure they had to be shaved. <laughs> what? Yeah. In the book, yeah, I think. Well, then even more so then. It makes no sense that Harry was able to get his name in there. So, I mean, the the thing about it is what you just said, right? Like, what's the simplest thing that no one would ever think about? Have an older student put your name in for you. The, the cup itself doesn't know who, how old you are. It only reads the names and figures out who the best candidate is. Hmm. But the bigger clue, especially with the Harry mystery, is that he shows up as the fourth Triwizard Tournament When there's only supposed to be three people, yeah. So somebody put him in as a different school to ensure that he would be in it. And while I think the mo- I think it's a fun movie and a cool device for, like, you know, having these challenges and, you know, playing out the school year, it is, like, in terms of the overall goal, which is to get Harry to the graveyard, he could have done that so much easier than have it be the try wizard cup is the port key you know yeah like you could have been like harry we take this note to professor mcgonagall grabs it and he's gone you know yeah Flor delacour. so floor uh delacour in the book and in this but they just don't talk about it but in the book she is half vila 
which Vila is kind of like a siren from, you know, Odysseus, Homer, you know, uh, Homer. Yeah. Uh, the Odyssey. They're like these beautiful creatures that lure men, but they're kind of bird-like too. Like apparently whenever you, you're, you, you're not like, you know, seduced by them, like they kind of look bird-like, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyway, Flora's dad, I think, or no, Flora's grandfather apparently had sex with one. And Flora is the is the, the progeny, the <laughs> yeah. And I think um, there's even a Vila hair in her wand is the core. Oh of her yeah, wand. yeah. Man, it's so, so bright. Why is it so bright for Dumbledore? <laughs> Look at him. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, so, like, one of the reasons that Flora is, you know, so beautiful, especially all these high school kids, is that she actually has like a magical quality in her beauty. Hmm. Okay. Screamy Dumbledore. He yells here, right? Yep. <laughs> I remember reading this man, and it was so it was, cr- like yeah. it like makes you like, oh man, what you just happened? Just got a pit in your stomach because he talks about how he's just looking forward to watching and cheering on Cedric. Yeah, and Ron is so seething mad. <laughs> well, yeah, it, honestly, it's one of the toughest parts to read in the book because the friendship of Ron and Harry is so important, but in, yeah. in those chapters where Ron is mad. Like yeah. Harry is alone, you know. Yeah. He's got Hermione, but that's it. Everybody hates him because they all think that oh, he's this famous kid that doesn't like that other people are going to be getting the, the <clears> fame. <throat> so he f- he tricks the the you know the cup into making sure that he gets a spotlight. Is what they see. You yeah. Know? And Ron is upset because what? he thinks he actually figured out how to trick it, and he didn't, and he tell, didn't him. tell him. Yeah. yeah. Why doesn't he say anything here? Why does why is it so quiet? I imagine like you'd be like, I didn't put my name in there, you know, or say something I like that. I think he's just an awkward yeah. kid. Yeah, just shocked. Just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Mad eye there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, in the uh, in the in the book, whenever you read it, it says Dumbledore ask calmly, Harry, did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire? And this is the one thing that people hate about this movie is this. He asked calmly. <laughs> so on guard. He's grabbing him, shaking him. You know? <laughs> so Kakarov is one of those guys that denied you know Mm -hmm. like they know he was a death eater but he said that he was under the imperious charm okay do they gotta make it a quad wizard right (laughs) i know he's the fourth try (laughs) wizard champion yeah Hmm. So they just give up on trying to figure out what happened. I mean, Barty Crouch, who's the uh, head of like magical competition or something like that, he's like the the cup says that we have to do it. Yeah. Or else it so something like the what is it like the fire goes out and the, it can't continue or something. Oh. Something like that. Yeah, it, it breaks a spell. What's the Tri Wizard tournament for? Like, what's the big? It was to bring the three schools together in like more of a cooperative yeah. way because it's, yeah there were like wizard wars and stuff like that and this is something that came from the treaties yeah it's like, like the world like cup take the olympics in a way kind of yeah. yeah it's to like get people together like and despite not fight yeah despite like you know international stuff like they can come together and have these competitions yeah <laughs> Let them unfold. I read a cool story where Mike Newell, who was the director of this, he went up to Alan Rickman and like complimented, like, "Man, this like the your eyes are perfect for Severus Snape. Like they're black. It's crazy." And he goes, "Yes." And he takes out his contact. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> if I could have one thing from the magical world. I yeah, might pensive. pick a pens- pensive. Pensive, dude. That pensive is so pretty fun. awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cool shit, though. Yeah. 
Like a broom. I don't want to cheat and say a wand. <laughs> you know? Right. So he pulled out his memory. A memory. Of the of the, the name Harry Potter. Of the, the, the dropping thing. that. So that now that entire scene or whatever, he can revisit it. Oh. And okay. study it. So it's like storing like your memories person. away and yeah. stuff and looking at it differently. Yeah. The thing mm-hmm. that was weird whenever the goblet did its thing was that all the rest of them seemed fine, but when that one was doing it, he's like, ah, oh, like it was so bright. Yeah, like he just like, didn't expect it, you know? <clears throat> Dude, Ron, you're being a little... Come on, man. I mean, imagine being like at a memorial service and there's 10 shots, and then you're like, all right, now the 10 shots, and then 11th one goes off, you know? You're like, ah, oh, shit! You just wouldn't expect it. Wait, I mean, I'm frustrated with Ron here, too, and I've always been, especially when I've read the book. The book but, is a little better. But you got to understand, like, Ron is the last of a long, long series of sons, and they stopped having kids when they had their daughter, you know? Like, that's one of his insecurities, is that he's always in the shadow of something, mm-hmm. whether it's his brothers, whether it's Harry, who is so famous, mm-hmm. you know? And when Hermione, it, who's a and, better yeah Wiz- wizard witch yeah. and I mean he's always constantly the other one that's not yeah. important you know it would be like Shane if you were growing up and your best friend was Tom Cruise and you were always just stuck in a shadow and you can't be any better and you're always trying to be as good as you can yeah, yeah right Calvin he would elevate he would elevate me and but, long, you, but you, but you always, you always, you're your second best you know a or long less. shadow at sunset you know <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this actress like I, she goes up to de- do something else doesn't she Eric? Flora Delacour? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. This actress, though, I've always liked her. She's in Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow with yeah. uh, Johnny Depp? Yep. Oh, man. And she's, Christopher Walken? She's the, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's the one who's like, you know, that summons the, the Headless Horseman. Yeah, she also uh, plays several parts in, like, Black Adder. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Merlin, the miniseries with Sam Neill. Oh, okay. Maybe not. I've personally never seen Flora Delacour in anything. Yeah, she's a bunch of French stuff, I guess. Gossip Girl, stuff I never watched. All right. <laughs> Jeez, lady. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rita Skeeter. She's up there. I mean, she's not Umbridge. She's like not Umbridge. She's not Umbridge. Umbridge but is, I, mean, I hate Umbridge more than I hate anything. Yeah. Ever. Dude. And the, the actress they get for her next movie is so good. <laughs> I love how the spell, the little quill is like waiting, you know? Is looking at him. And then when it starts writing, it's automatically writing and like making it more scandalous and yeah. clickbaity, you know? So she's just like a reporter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For the Daily Prophet. She's like the, uh, what is the, what's all like the tabloids and stuff? What's the, like the, the biggest National one? Choir. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody loves a rebel. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do that and just have a pen yeah. right for me. Like take notes. Yeah. <laughs> During reactions. It's gotta and be stuff. better better handwriting than me, you know? No, I get you. But part of my like learning process, I feel like if I write something down, I'm more likely to remember it. Yeah. Like yeah. if I'm like actually taking the effort and action to write a name, I'm more likely to remember it than if I'm just told it. Okay. Me too. So. Yeah, when I started I used to just write down shit over and over and over again. Yeah. So we get to visit the Owlery for the first time in the movies. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Just right. covering shit everywhere. Look at that. Yep. Guano. I love owls, dude. Yep. He's sitting down on something that's covered in... I love that Harry gets to have this, like, relationship with Sirius... Mm-hmm. The folds on that note remind me of the. You guys remember those things that you made in high school? Where it was yeah. like, you did this shit and then yeah. like told fortunes or whatever. I remember those, yeah. How could you like make sure that you were alone? <clears throat> Dude, this common room is like, if there was amazing. A, if there was a party going on in the common room, oh. and he just showed up, I guess it's just implied oh, that shit. everybody goes to sleep by one. You yeah. Know? 
12. <laughs> she keeps calling him 12. He's like 14. <laughs> Jesus. It just, ah, starts screaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something seems fishy there. Yeah, so this uses the flu network like a phone call. So, yeah, this movie has this version of it, which is disturbing a little bit to me. <laughs> and I think later movies, it's more of like you can just see his face in flame, you know, like, yeah. like a TV screen. This one's like, yeah, it's like in the coals yeah. and the embers and stuff of it. I like how this show is not f afraid to reinvent an idea. Mm -hmm. You know, if it doesn't work, just like Flitwick or whatever his name is. Yeah. It's just like, oh, just change him. <laughs> yeah. It's only a dream. That looks like he's suffering. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he's probably got his face in the he embers on the other side. Yeah, you stick your head in the fire. That's what you do. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. He broke into a wizard's house when they were gone and put his face into their fireplace. Jesus. Oh, yeah. You can die in it. It's not safe. No it's one, not, yeah, that's not, why they it's not safe at all. specifically limited it this year to 17-year-olds and older. Like Ron. Right. Hey, Ron. Uh, don't alienate Dude, that's him. Some shade. Don't alienate him. Looks He's so different. Gone. It's Draco. After Star Wars, I wasn't sure if I'd just get into a whole other fictional world until I saw this and read the books, man. Just so cool. Mm hmm. <clears throat> So yeah, he uh, he starts hanging out with Neville a little bit more. <laughs> I love this. Say Hagrid's looking for you. Things seem suspicious. So it's, it's kind of similar to uh, the second movie in book where the whole school thinks Harry is... You know, in that one, he thinks that, you know, he's the one that's attacking people. Yeah. He's the heir of Slytherin, you know? Um, in this one, they're all, every, the whole school hates him because they think that he's trying to, you know, grab fame and stuff like that. But the big difference is that he had Ron in the second one. Yeah. In this he, one, he doesn't. He doesn't, you know? <laughs> you can really tell what difference that makes. <laughs> Haggard trying to look good. Uh, so <laughs> he forgets about Harry, right? <laughs> yeah. Or at least in the, I remember in the book, like Harry's like, "Did he forget about me?" <laughs> Once he hears, I love the cloak. Yeah, the cloak is good. That'd be pretty cool. I just, you know, oh, so you mean like in this moment he forgets about yeah. Harry? <clears throat> 
So it's heavily implied that Madame Maxine is also half giant. But when Hagrid asks her about it, she gets very upset. <laughs> I'm just big boned. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Hagrid half giant or He's something? He's half giant, yes. She's just Whoa. lying about it. The dragons? She also shares his fascination with uh, with animals as well. But it's also kind of implied that she uses him to figure out what one of the challenges are. Yeah. Jeez. <clears throat> See, they look pretty good. Yeah. I love his attitude towards mystical, magical beasts. Charlie, yeah. So Charlie is the dragon catcher or hunter. Yeah. And Bill the good brother. is the curse breaker for yeah. the Gringotts. How many brothers he's got? He only has one sister, right? Yeah. Um, I think there's seven Weasley children. Seven? There's the twins, right? Fred and So there's Charlie George. and Bill. There's Percy, Fred and George, Ron, and Jenny. Who's Percy? Percy is... Percy was the prefect from... Yeah. He's uh, like two or three years older than Ron is. Yeah. Dude, no, fuck yeah. these little kids. He's man. older than the twins. Is he? Yeah. I think he was head boy. Percy graduated last year, and he just started working with the ministry this year, I think. Yeah. Is that right? So yeah, uh, when he's sneaking around, he sees Kakarov like figuring out what the, what it is as well, and then obviously M Madame Maxime knows. So he wanted to be fair and tell Cedric so that all of the Triwizard champions yeah had have an idea had the same edge. And then you know he thinks that Ron didn't tell him about the dragons, but really Ron did. Just in that roundabout way. Yeah. Because, told him to go see Hagrid. Because no one told him to go see a Hagrid. You know, he made it up. Ah, oh, I love this part. <laughs> Why is he in a tree? He's in a tree. Sometimes you got to be in a tree with your boys. Dude, they were all down there looking up at him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like high school. It's the only way people look up to him. <laughs> Jeez. McGonagall doesn't know that it's a student. She's just like, what are you Teaching. doing? <coughs> he puts it in his pants. He puts it in his pants. What? Why? Oh my God, that'd be terrible. Because he. Did it he, bit him? He went hard going for that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He's chasing him. <laughs> <Stop right. laughs> Brandon Gleason, I think, you know, his approach was being that old school hard teacher, you know, English yeah. teacher that went after you, you know? Yeah. I think he was like modeling after teachers he had when he was a kid. Yeah. And uh, so is he doing that mainly because of protecting Harry? Because Harry has to get to a, th a thing, right? That's the idea there. Or is he just he's like selling he the deception also, you know too? He's yeah. still also, teaching. He also hates his father because yeah. he's one of those ones. That he's denied, one of the deniers. You know. Gotcha. Um, and you know, uh, Brandon Gleason, who's the actor playing here, he's uh, he's the father of Domino Gleason, who is Hux, and also plays uh, Gangs of New York. Bill, I think, or Charlie, one of the older Wheezy brothers in a later movie. The one that marries Floor. Charlie. Yeah. Lucky boy. Look at this leg. Yep. Yeah. Also, uh, like, magically controlled. <laughs> That's a little weird. 
You wouldn't believe it. Uh-huh. That's a real moody. <laughs> Which, when you hear the scream now, it does sound like him. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. So the transformation is so good that it gives him a fake, like it make, takes away his leg and he uses the fake leg. Yeah. Yeah. It takes his eye, eye away as well. Hmm. So now in some iterations of like this kind of spell type things, like it's an illusion that you can yeah. see, but then if you touch it or look or closely or whatever, you it breaks it. No, this is a polyjuice potion, which we've seen, you know, being taken before, but we got to remember like it only lasts an hour. So he <clears throat> has to. That's why he's chugging it all yeah, the time. Every hour on the hour. Doesn't turn Hermione into a cat or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But he makes it, which is incredibly difficult, and has to drink it every hour for months. Hmm. <clears throat> so all they're allowed is a wand. Yep. Do I like this little arena thing? Yeah. And the thing about the Triwizard Tournament, I think, is it's the most boring spectator sport you'll ever see. Because other than this one, and this one, you don't get to see much of it. When they're in the, yeah. I remember one in but the water. They're in the water, and then they're in the maze. One's in a you maze. You can't see anything. It's like pod yeah. racing, though. There's cameras, you think? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. But on this one, I mean, Harry flies away, and they don't get to see anything. Yeah. Lucky. I always felt like J.K. Rowling nailed how nervous Harry felt in this moment. Yeah. Because he just, he was so scared and alone, you know? Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I love the photographer guy. It's like hitting him in the face. Yep. And friends. <laughs> Just taking another picture. How tall is that lady? She is huge. I mean, I think she's on stilts, but they're not doing like any effects for her. I like how long it took him to realize she was there. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. They're choosing their dragons? Yep. Which one they have to face? The miniature versions of them. I want to see Ooh. what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, they only made one. Yeah, they didn't want to bother with the models of them. <clears throat> Get a little bit there. Yeah, I want to see the Chinese one. Just re- I want to see just like re-colored. a Chinese wizard school. Yeah. The horn tail. It'd be so stupid for Harry to say that the horn tail before he picks it. Yeah, I know. Do you think so spiky? And Barry Crouch is like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's that boy? What's that boy? So who creates the uh, challenges they have to do? The teachers. The teachers do? Um, no, maybe not. I don't remember. I think it's the actually the... Uh, Look it up. The It's the host country's uh, <laughs> magical, like, competitive sports thing, I think. It's the same people that put on the World Cup, I think. Hmm. I think it's what it is. So that's why, that's why like, Barty Crouch is here. It, okay. it would be like Barty Crouch's department. Yeah, his department. It wouldn't be the schools because that would be an unfair advantage. Yeah, that's why they're sneaking around trying to figure out what the things are. Yeah, that's what it is. Hogwarts Field Supplies. Those crates over there. That's cool. I never noticed those before. We don't get to see the other side of it all. Nope. Um, There's a thing see. I saw in the in the it was on IMDb. I don't know if it was real. Or not. Was this thought to be a two? 
two-part movie for yeah, a while? It, they were going to make it a two-part movie. Uh, Mike Newell was convinced not to do it by Alfonso Cuaron. Was he uh, the director of the first he two? Was the, he was the director of the third one. The third one. Yeah. And he said, like, look, people say that you can't cut out that much and make one movie, but you can. I did it. So he does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the stuff he cuts out. I and mean, the third movie is is arguably like one of the it's one very of the best, best movies. It cuts out a lot, a lot of my favorite stuff. This the stuff that's cut out here, I don't necessarily miss it. I but honestly, I've never watched a Harry Potter movie without having read the books. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of just so consider it being like a visual dictionary for me. Yeah, you're filling in all the other stuff. Yeah, so I don't know what doesn't make sense. Man, this oh, terrain man. sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, it man, does. that thing could totally like breathe fire much. Much better than you can climb. <laughs> and, like, the students are right there. <laughs> yeah. Is this the same train for everybody, or is it changed It's for the same one? for everybody. Uh, if I remember correctly, Cedric Diggory transforms a rock into, like, a golden retriever, and the dragon chases it while he gets his egg. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Look at his teeth. Yeah, right. Like big beans. Floor, Can't stand ya. Floor tries to, like, animal charm him and, like, put him in a hypnotized state or something like that. And I don't remember what Crumb does. Just muscles don't get some headlock. Something like that. But Harry is the only one that thinks about summoning a broom to him. Um, which Crumb actually... Uh, Crumb is like, you know, I'm a professional seeker. And I didn't even think about that. And he compliments Harry's flying, which is awesome, too. Oh, okay. I've but got, yeah, but I've the got idea got comes from Mad-Eye, right? Because he yeah, said about, you're a fast flyer. That's the thing. What are your strengths? Uh, there's a... Uh, there's definitely an argument to be made that without Matt I or um, Barty Crouch Jr. coaching him, he would not have passed any of them. Yeah, which is reasonable because oh. it, it should be limited to 17 years old. Yeah. See, this I is... I mean, he still doesn't. He just, you know, like, it still takes a lot of effort and power to do these things. Yeah. yeah. It's just that thinking about what to do next. Well, well done, <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I think they bet on the Dragon. Because <laughs> no. uh, I think there's like a there's a secondary plot where they're like betting on the on well the a little bigger like place your bets place yeah. your bets I was gonna be like are yeah. they allowed to do that <laughs> this doesn't happen like this as much in the book does it oh no it all yeah, stays th in there right yeah now. it's all yeah. No. this is all extra yeah they gotta go like ah eh, we need a big set piece well they cut out all the they cut out all the the other fights so they probably yeah. like well, let's make this one a little bigger and more extravagant yeah. Yeah. oh fuck you fool I kill broom. Yeah, right. Did I tell you this story where I was like half asleep. I was trying to find a controller. I went, Accio controller. You did tell me that. Like, and I meant it. Like, I was thinking this controller would come because I couldn't find it. I would not grab onto that skinny thing that could break off. Dude, He's just wrecking this tower. He's going to be pissed. See? Yep. That's exactly why you don't grab on tall, skinny things like that. They break off. Just all the ways you can act your broom, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> Where's his wand at? It's in his pocket. Yeah, maybe. I think they have little holsters or something. I'd have a holster. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't just put it in my pocket. I'd have, JK like, a, Rowling's I'd always have talking like a sheath like right yeah, here. Yeah, J.K. Rowling's always talking about how they put it like in their back pocket like a phone or something. Like what? That thing would snap yeah, the don't first do time you sit down. Don't sit on it. Have like a like a shoulder holster, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like a <laughs> like under your armpit, or like some kind of mechanism that like it like comes out like sheave Palpatine. Yeah, know? right. Or That'd fucking cool. Altair. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> or fucking Huck. Peter, look out! <laughs> He's on fire. The horn tail is pretty nasty looking. Like all those. Dude, it's so spiny. Spikes. Yeah, dude. Right between the little bits. Oh, and I think oh. they, they talk about how Harry has the meanest dragon because it, its tail is so deadly as well. He's a ways, Gus. See, like, no one watches that. They can't. They, they might be able to see, but people are on the other side of the circle, you know? Imagine all there's... They're like, lower where than is he? They can't see yeah. what happened. Is he up there? It's the same thing with the next challenge. was underwater. They can't see anything, <laughs> you know? Yeah. The only person that can see anything is Mad-Eye. <laughs> right. She is so damn excited. Hell yeah, she is. <laughs> and, you know, it's cool because, like, the whole school who has hated him for the 
from when he's been announced to now, they're just so damn impressed by what he's done that they, they kind of just forget about it. <laughs> well, Ron, like you, Ron doesn't They make know. new badges. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the guys in the paintings. <laughs> they were betting on the dragon to take yeah. an arm or a leg. Yeah. There's a clue. Yep. It's the clue for the next challenge. This fucking dude already. He didn't seem Dick. like a shy kid here. Why don't they just drop him? Jesus, I put a close it, close it. <laughs> Ron's wearing one of his Christmas sweaters that his mom makes him. Yeah. Because they can't afford real gifts. Oh, no shit. Come on, Eric. <laughs> that kid back there is like, <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> hey, that's one thing they nail in the movies. Harry is this most stubborn person. Yeah. He's so stubborn. Like, there's a character in the books called All Caps Harry when he just screams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expecto Patronum. <laughs> Such a roundabout way of doing it. They do have long hair in this movie. Everybody needs a haircut. <laughs> Is everyone just listening to them? Yeah. And they say, hey, leave them some space. So there's there's only so much room in the cover. Everyone's all listening and watching. So whose boat is that? Uh, that's Durmstrang. Oh, and that's their the, boat? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the carriage was the, the French the school. Bo batons or whatever? Yeah. yeah. They there's to, a cereal box there. Oh, yeah, that's their cereal. Hi, Harry. Twins! Yep. Uh, Parvati... Yeah, the, you know, in the in the book, those twins, one's in Gryffindor and one's in Ravenclaw, but in the movies, yeah. they just put them both in Gryffindor. It's really weird. <laughs> Pray. Now she's saying that she's going after Victor Crumb. Jeez. Right. It's all fake. Yeah. Fake news. Who's this little kid? It's he Nigel. Looks, he looks familiar. He's a Harry Potter fanboy. In fact, I think he's a movie character. I don't remember him in the book. Um, <coughs> no, I remember him. Is he Colin Creevy's little brother? I can't remember. I don't know. I, I told my name Harry's autograph. Is he going to yell at you? Oh. Oh, it's so oh, good. Oh, no. <clears throat> I forgot about this. Yep. Is there a bonnet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at the waffle rack magical oh, thing. It's so good. Fuck. Making me hungry. I want. Imagine we said waffle just stuff. fucking flying in here. <laughs> it's a flying waffle. Yeah, it's his formal wear. Dress robes. Yep. It's a dress. Yep. Look at that thing. That thing's huge. I know. Frivolity. Fri 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 That's such a great word. It's a good word. We need to use that. We more. need to use frivolity. I've used more. frivolous. That's yeah. A, yeah, it's like frivolous, right? But fri well fri mannered frivolity. frivolity. I've never been well mannered that's and frivolous. A great New Year's frivolity party. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's redundant. <laughs> Man, you, remember, you guys remember when was your first like mixed dance? Like boys and girls going to like a dance and having sixth to dance. grade same age. Wave con. Yes. Wave con. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I wasn't was, joking, Shane. <laughs> mine was fourth grade, 4-H camp. 
Oh, and it's just oh the wow! Most awkward shit. Fourth oh, yeah, is not good for confidence. Because you're no, like arms know. length. Did you guys Hands not do, on shoulders? Did you guys not do the snowball dance? No. You guys didn't do snowball dance? No. That helped with confidence a little My bit. My elementary school I don't didn't know. have a dance. So well, no, like we started so, like, having him in sixth grade. We would have dances, but they they'd have like snowball dances at the dance. Yeah. Where you have two people start dancing and then. They, they would say like snowball or change oh, or whatever. and then yeah. those two people would go oh, yeah. and grab two other people and eventually you would just have more and more people on the thing like on the floor yeah. dancing so like you'd get I oh, remember that you would, hope, just, you'd hope one of the hotter like older girls would come and get yeah. you and bring you up there because then it's like oh she's so nice getting the little kid and then you're like yeah she came and got me because I, yeah. I, can, I can just remember the feeling of like I feel so awkward <laughs> dancing but it's more awkward to not you know, to like sit off, you know, and then like an older like camp counselor would come over, like, "Would you like to dance, sweetie?" And I know that's just pity, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, I guess. <laughs> well, I was sixth grade. So awkward. Yeah, the first one was Halloween, sixth grade. I was spent at Gus's house. We walked up. I just remember uh, always wanted to, we, we, all the sixth grade. Look at the boys. Oh <laughs> man, won the dance with the eighth grade girls. Yeah, no, I understand. Mom, there's, Neville, there's, yes, yes, Neville, yes, Neville. There's such a thing too, where like girls usually look fine dancing. In most ways that they mm -hmm. dance, mm -hmm. and then guys either look good or awkward. Yeah. Yes. And there's like not a middle ground, you know? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to have like a, like what, what do they do? Like girls can be like woo, and everyone's like, oh look, they're dancing. And guy goes like woo, like what the hell is wrong with you? It's <laughs> <laughs> so white. It's just, look at the girls like making sure they don't ask them to the dance. <laughs> what are they doing? They're trying to find dates. They they have to ask someone to go. So, like, they're so nervous and trying to find somebody. I mean, obviously, you know. Dude, if he's a tri-wizard athlete, I'm sure he gets. Dude. That's what Ron says. Like, well, you're at least a, a champion. What am I? Uh -huh. Look at the robes I have to wear. Dude, get a bow baton. Grab one of them. Yep. This <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> his, dad, <laughs> his daddy could pick up his age of six? Yeah. His dad laughed so hard, he said. Did she just eat a sausage out of his beard or something? I think it was a bug. It was something. Oh. Aww. All he had was the spiders. Jeez, look at this guy. What's he doing? It's Victor Crumb. Look at all the <laughs> girls chasing him. They, wanted <laughs> they to all want to ask him. <laughs> so who's supposed to ask? The girls supposed to ask? I think it's either or. Uh, either way? Yeah. It's like being yeah, an he, it's like being an NBA athlete. He, really. he works out and like swims in the cold water and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I love, I love. I don't know. There's something about that like, like physical abuse of old English teachers that like they have in this. Yeah, you know, it's great. Yeah, because like Alan Rickman, he talks about like I just used to get slapped in the back of the head real hard. Yeah, he just keeps doing it. These kids on, on the set. <laughs> Yep. This is just confidence right here. It helps that they're on the Quidditch team together, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard mine. Oh, no. Uh, that's not the way to. He hits him extra. He hits him extra time. <laughs> uh. <sighs> he didn't even ask like a legit ask. No. Guy. I love every time he moves. They put the little. Yep. I love Alan. It's like Rickman. so quick. Yeah. Alan Rickman is a treasure, man. And everything he's in now is such a treasure because he's not going to get any more. You yeah. must get so Look at annoyed. <laughs> Let's put past two slaps. Ah! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, though, these motherfuckers are talking during the yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take your fucking test. <laughs> these fucking kids. Yeah. I love what the brother was saying, though. Like, hurry up, pick some girls because yeah. all the good ones are going to be gone. Yeah. Yep. And you're going to either be it's, alone. It's like life. Or someone you don't like, want to be with. I remember, I remember <laughs> senior prom, man, being like, like as soon as, like, oh, we got we to find dates. Just, I'm going to go up to the first person that I think would, would actually go with me versus is really pretty. I'm going to do it. 
And it worked. And it yeah. worked. Yep. Cho Chang, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I mean, the the books obviously lay a better foundation. He's always kind of liked her. Yeah, I know? don't know who she is. Yeah, <laughs> she's yeah, a Ravenclaw no. student that he just always thought was pretty. It's funny in the book too. Like, they just type the words without spaces. What is it about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that a goal? Mm -hmm. I had that same thing happen to me once. Yeah. For like a homecoming. Yeah. It was Rick, wasn't it? Huh? And it was Rick, right? Rick no, already Rick had didn't eight. go to high school. Oh. He forsook me. <laughs> he took off to college or whatever. PSEO. <laughs> the music well, in this. That's so funny. Like, Aaron's, oh, right, Aaron's so it. resentful for other people bettering themselves. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god I remember this <laughs> Look at Ron He's so pale looking Yeah Oh damn He went hard Yeah <laughs> Jeez Hermione He had to get it out. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, the twins. Yep. Ron, ask them. Harry, ask them. Just no, I, Harry, I take them both. Because I said them. I said them <laughs> twice. <laughs> Harry does a solid. He asks for him and Ron. Yeah. That works too. I love how the lake is frozen. Yeah. Or the lock, rather. Lock. So it's pretty much the tux with a cloak yeah which is so much better than are those regular the tuxes. baton girls it's a because they're wearing a, the same gray blue color <laughs> it's a vampire tuxedo eric look at ron's man, that sucks. Oh. i think it says that uh he tries like getting rid of the frills but ends up just having like scorched edges yeah <laughs> <'Cause> he, <burns laughs> he tries to burn them off or whatever I feel bad for him, man. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? If you did it right, you could get away with it. Yeah. It's I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like the guys that wear the Dumb and Dumber stuff. You you know? Know? Yeah. It's, about, it's attitude. about your attitude. Like Fred and George could pull that off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ron has a really hard time being honest. Miss Patil. I think for how long they waited to ask somebody, they lucked out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. They did. I think Neville asks, asks Jenny, who's actually really popular in her grade. But, you know, he's an older boy asking a younger girl. Yeah. He's and more you, popular. You have, yeah. to, you have to be fourth year or higher to go, I think. So she wouldn't have been able to go if he didn't ask, you yeah. know? Uh. What was that about? Oh, there's Cho, right? Cocksuck. Uh -huh. Yep, she's with Cedric. It's Cedric. The most popular boy in school. Yep. That's why he conspires to kill him later. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Looks good. Beauty and the Beast right there. Beauty and the yeah. Beast. You know, they they don't hide that, you know, the actress playing Hermione is a pretty girl, you yeah, know? But, yeah. you know, obviously Hermione's the books. To, her, yeah. she's not supposed to be like this beautiful girl, but, but she has this extremely bushy hair. Yeah. And for this, she like does this kind of weird like magical solvent in her hair. That makes it look like, oh, wow, you know? She also had these really big buck teeth, which, which 
yeah. she fixed. And well, in the beginning of the book, she gets in this fight with this other girl, mm-hmm. and the other girl curses her front teeth and they make them gigantic, like rabbit teeth. So she goes to the the nurse, and as the nurse is shrinking them, she just has them shrink them to normal size. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I love Ron. Yeah, here. I know. Who's floor with? Uh, just one of the boys from Hogwarts. Oh, just somebody. Yeah. yeah. Which is like we know like someone in every other group yeah. at least you know like. Hey. I think they say that the, it's a it's a boy from Hogwarts who has the look of someone that can't believe this good fortune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does Harry know how to dance? He's yeah, guessing the, along. The <laughs> actors, they spent like, they had like four months of preparation to learn how to dance, but Harry being the only one that was is in every single scene only had like four days to learn. And they're like, well, it would make sense that he would He's be supposed the worst. To be awkward. He would be the worst dancer. <laughs> Filch <laughs> dancing. dancing with, I remember St. Mary's, so one of the things we had to do in seventh grade it was like classical dancing stuff. Yeah. It was like a requirement. And uh, then I got expelled for a year and I didn't do it. <laughs> hey. Neville looking good. Mm-hmm. Look at that like collar thing. Dude, Neville's yeah. the most handsome guy now. Oh, yeah. He grew up right? like the a, actor a really when they grew up. Looking, he grew oh, up yeah. Good looking dude, man. He glowed up. Is yeah. he a ferret? He leveled up, man. It looks like a ferret. It's yeah, it's a it's a um, stuffed ferret <laughs> yeah. on his <laughs> kilt. Oh, look at Hagrid's <laughs> woolly jacket. I love it. It's the same woolly <laughs> jacket and tie that he was wearing in uh, <laughs> after the trial. Yeah. Those are my Buck goals beak. to have that hair and that beard. Yeah. Man, there's so many of the. What are the what are the guys from Strum? Move Strum? your body like a hairy troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Guys from Durmstrang. Yeah, like there's so many of them with the the bell baton yeah. people. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like a Mick Jagger like band guy here. Wait, why aren't they dancing? It's that it's that awkward boy phase, man. When yeah, you don't want to go up there and make a fool of yourself. Yep. But you're more of the fool. Yeah. Or you could be like Elaine though, <sighs> and, and just girls. be terrible Poor and not care. Dates. But really, you're terrible. One of the Dermstrang boys comes over. Oh. Damn. Ah, oh, shit, they're leaving together. Man, wouldn't that be terrible? You get a date. He's going to fuck her brains out, and they're going to be sitting like losers. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. thought they were leaving, leaving. Can you imagine being there with a date, and some other guy comes over, she's like, yes, please, let me go. Just, yeah, that'd be it's awful. It's your own damn man. fault, man. We didn't have any fun. I do not miss puberty. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Harry's like, what the hell, man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shane, you're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you're the Ron in this scene. I wouldn't be like that. I'd play it cool. I'd play it cool. <laughs> no, I know. Even if I felt that way, I'd definitely keep it to myself. <gasps> that poor girl. Yep. Yeah, and the, uh, I keep saying in the book, but in, in the book, she like goes off to her sister, and it was a uh, it was one of the French boys that came over and asked his sister, and she goes over and's like, "Can you find a date for me?" And he like summons a fr- another French boy like immediately, <laughs> <laughs> like he snaps his fingers yeah, like a bellhop or like something. Pops out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> he's a good actress, man. Yeah, he ruined her night. What? What happened to this poor girl down here? I don't know. They crying and stuff. This is just like dances back in school. Dude, yeah, yeah. Man, for real, dude. <laughs> this is just Look at Neville, though. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, He's man. He's holding out. I <laughs> <laughs> reaches that's, here. That's cool. He goes down. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, He's got to watch Hitch, man. Too high means I just want to be friends. Too low means I just want to grab some ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What would Ron say? Just that 
she w- wasn't important with what was going on and he was just using her and all that kind of stuff, right? He's just, he can't be honest. I mean, obviously, he kind of likes Hermione, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, he just, he says all of these things to keep away from his real Felix, you know? Silly. He's, it's he's silly. jealous. And Hermione just sent them to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Off yeah. to bed with both of you. Like, what? I, I saw that it particularly bothered you. And you're like, what? <laughs> right when that happened. I'm just like, I'm what? I'm not going to bed. I wouldn't. I'd stay up to spider. <laughs> <laughs> you go to bed. Fuck it. I'm going to the bars. Here we go. <laughs> go bowling. This is like what the uh, one dude saw. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Now, is he having a vision? He keeps having the same dream. But this time it said Harry at last, you know? Oh, yeah. And he saw the flash. He's got that connection to Lord yeah. Lord yeah. Lord Lord. Shh, Don't say his name. Huh? Don't say his name. <laughs> no. <laughs> his yeah. shoes tied around his neck. <laughs> He's proud to have stayed out so late. <laughs> It's weird. This, I figured this dance would kind of put together a little bit more of like the relationships you get later on mm-hmm. and stuff. And it, I mean, it, there's little bits here and there. I guess more so with Ron and Hermione, yeah. but for the rest of it, it kind of is just kind what of what it really does. Just capture that awkward stage in primarily boys' lives, where it's like you just you you don't want to look like a fool, but everything you do to not look like a fool makes it look like, more like a fool. You know? No, I tried dancing, Eric. It made it made me look like a fool. Oh yeah, <laughs> much more. <laughs> Yes, but for everyone else, it's fine. Yeah. So every test is just go get an egg. No. No. Oh, okay. No. The first one was get an egg. But so the egg she has means a clue. he's trying to figure out what the clue is. Yeah. Okay. All he knows is that it screams. <clears throat> Doesn't uh, Delacour figure it out first? Uh, I have no idea. We know Cedric figures it out. Mm-hmm. And he kind of... Does he return the favor? He returns the favor. But we also learn, too, at the behest of Mad-Eye Moody. What about that? Dude, this bridge is so crooked and yeah, wonky. I know. We've got that back there. I love how, like, <laughs> it, it talks about how Harry is like, I told him, dragons, but he tells me, take a bath. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the prefect bathroom, this right? This is the prefect bathroom. All right. That's badass. They get their own shit. Yeah, look how big that bathroom is. I love the spigot, how big it is. Like, yeah. it pours out, like, hot water and bubble bath and soap all at the same time. Oh, it's yes. awesome. It's a mermaid. Yeah. We, need one, we need to get one of those here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, a, a bath? Yeah, it's like a big bath. Like Chill out, man. A giant bath, like a swimming yeah. pool. Put it on the roof. Now, it's implied that <laughs> only one person can go in here at a time, right? I don't know. I, I, don't, I mean, don't know. I think all the prefects not, go in the, there. The prefects aren't bathing together. Sure they are. There's men and women. No, it's it's like uh, it's like when you go to like summer camp and all the counselors go up to the pool at night. Did you go to summer camp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Myrtle. More soap. More soap. Hmm. Bad boy. We're going to try to be sexy. (laughs) I like him pulling the bubbles in closer. No splash. It's great. I want to know what Cedric did. Like, what made him be like, you know, I'm putting this egg in the bath with me. (laughs) You know what I mean? 
It's probably put its dick in the hole. The hell is wrong? Did you go to summer camp? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you doubt? Did I go to <laughs> summer camp? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Toke. Like Peregrine. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you want to go to the dance? <laughs> she is so pervy for supposedly being a what a second year something like that what is this mermaid doing <laughs> fixing her hair I love the books putting themselves away in the background. <laughs> Potentially problematic. <clears throat> he waited so long to figure it out. Now he can't he had time to research what to do. Yeah. <sighs> Figured the clue would just be the clue. He wouldn't have to clue the clue. I think he has a dream, like, while he's researching. He has a dream of, like, him just, like, going down there without anything and the whole school laughing at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Long bottom just comes out of nowhere. Look at that giant book he had. What is that? That's a gravity resistant tree. Which way does it grow? Up. I don't know. Or sideways. A Tibetan turnip. Drake goes in Uncharted 2. Hmm? Tibet. Hmm. Get that gillyweed. <laughs> Floor is 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Fucking Potter saves her, doesn't he? Most likely. Like, what the hell do you see? Who built these? Eh, magic. Yeah, probably. The ministry. <laughs> Looks so fucking cold, dude. It does look cold. That gillyweed. Put that in your mouth. Ugh. You look so little, man. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Must have tasted terrible, huh? <laughs> they all um, died. He just, he just pushed pushed <laughs> <laughs> Who was hitting him on the back? Was that Snape? Uh, no, was no, Matt Moody. 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 Okay. Yeah, remember, Moody. That just looks awful, dude. Moody needs him to succeed. Yeah. Ugh, he grew gills on his neck. He's like Ugh. the deep. Oh, and he drew grew. Flippers on his Flippers feet and, and webbed, webbed hands. hands. I just uh, so what are the does rules? It change are they your DNA? To do that? Yeah, they they just, they have to be able to work out what they need to do and then prepare for it. <laughs> Even with the flippers and stuff, you know how much strength it would take to do that. 
A lot. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, part of the tournament is to, you know, how good are you at researching and figuring out how to deal with something as well, you know, hmm. versus just making it up on the spot. I think they said that for this movie, they built, like, one of the world's biggest, like, tanks to film in or something like that. Really? So a lot of this is just... Actually underwater? Underwater. He developed... He, like... He, yeah, Dana Radcliffe got, like, two ear infections while filming this. Fuck, that would suck. Really? Yeah. Dude, ear infections suck. I haven't yeah, had one in years. Because yeah. of just being under the water? Yeah. yeah. For so long. It's probably... This floor. Wait, so... In the books, we didn't cover here that she has like a bubble around her yeah, mouth. Yeah, she has here. a yeah. bubble around her mouth. Yeah. Uh, Cedric does the same thing. Crumb turns his head into the head of a shark. Yeah. But he loses points because he meant to turn into a shark. <laughs> but he only like half did it, you know? Yeah. So they don't score him as well because his transfiguration is a little wrong. So they all use their wand to do that? Yeah. It's a weird watch. Oh, what? Yeah, I think the Grindy Lows get her. Yeah. So she fails. The Grindy Wolves? Grindelow. 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 We'll see him here. These underwater goblin like creatures. They're like octopus and, and squids yeah. and little goblins all mashed together. And then the merm like people that we'll see too. They are not like that stained glass window. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's cool to see like the underground structures and stuff, you know? Yeah, they are. That look just. Why like is the this window. all underground, though? It's <coughs> kind of cool. Is it like their home or? Oh, hey. Yeah, I mean they oh. they live there. You know what? Like, who the f why the fuck they volunteer for this? They didn't volunteer. Well, they were asked if they would do it. If they refused, then they wouldn't have done it. But yeah, they were some of McGonagall's office. Like, hey, we need to, you know somebody that these people care about. So Ron was the person that Harry cared about, and. Hermione was the person that Victor Crumb cared about. Yeah. Uh, Cho Chang for Cedric. Cedric. And then Fleur's little sister, who's the dancer of the group, was hers. She just left there then. She's screwed. No. An hour you have to look to recover what we took. Jesus, dude. So he's not allowed to get Hermione? Nope. <laughs> oh wow yeah right yeah that's kind of freaky although it's probably best that he does have his hands, hands. yeah <laughs> <laughs> well the the scene in the book he's like snapping at the rope and he's like you're gonna kill Hermione so he gives him a little knife and then he cuts it and takes her hmm. and he doesn't know that Floor is not here I guess the question is, like, would they die? <laughs> no, but I don't think Harry knows that. Okay. He knows that people die in this tournament, you know? So they took everyone that they went to the dance with <laughs> and shoved them <laughs> in the water, pretty much. Well, maybe that's why the dance is tradition. Well, tradition. Yeah, but they they didn't take Pravati. <laughs> they took no. him for Harry. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that is weird. I love that. That was, yeah. cool. That was a cool transition, a transition, too, though. Look at that baked bean tea fuck. I thought he was only allowed to take one. Oh no. That was not an hour, was it? No, it was an hour. It was like oh jeez, ten minutes. Damn terrible squid he's, he's creatures. Those little fucking bastards. Yeah, right. Ah. Uh. Ron looks awful. <laughs> go, go. I kind of wish we would have gotten to see the giant squid. Yeah. Oh, there's the hour mark. Mm -hmm. Well, he succeeded then, right? He got him back.
Go, bro. Go. You know, like the cutting of some some of the stuff that they did in this movie, but then they added like you know the dragon chase around Hogwarts and the Ascendio thing. You know, like there's a little weird additions. I don't know if you needed necessarily. Like, does he just make it out just fine whenever yeah, he does he just it? Comes up. <clears throat> he the granny little thing happens earlier. Hell yeah. <laughs> she went to the dance with him. <laughs> Personally. The grin goes. Kakarov back there like Louder! <laughs> so is she out of the tournament or out of the just... She just didn't score any points. Okay. I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. He didn't get there first. That guy back there. Boo! He's got that uh, screw helping people. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. I love how Draco is just like, He's Damn. cheering right in Draco's face. <laughs> <laughs> when you go wrong, it turns out right. Dude, this eye thing is crazy. Mm -hmm. eek, eek, eek. I always felt like the pacing of like this conversation and, and this character felt a little flat because like like all right we gotta get some stuff in here with him, and then move on the story, you know. I haven't seen it so long. I. I mean, they have this conversation and he shows up dead. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> There it is. Ooh. Yeah, look at him. It's a hell of a stare. Yep. Is that a realization kind of thing there? Kinda. Hmm. So like, is the tongue thing when the polyjuice is wearing off, or is it like his personality? I think just through? his personality. He just can't. I always feel help, like he does it though, and then he takes the potion though too. Well, it's it's just like it's the veil kind of thinning, you know. Like he does that like whenever it's when he's looking at Harry or uh, you know thinking of something that is very Barty Crouch Jr. and less my that moody. Yeah. You know? So he's against his dad because his dad sent him to Azkaban. Mm. Hooray. So there was no first, second, third, fourth in the dragon one, right? It was just you succeeded or you didn't? No, um, because they weren't all... Yeah. Uh, they didn't all go at the same time. Yeah, but they I don't know if it was like a time-based thing uh, or they, they awarded get, points based they on... They get scores, I believe. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he is just dead. Yeah, and then he just yeah. dies Real quick. I always felt like that. That conversation and that development, and then he just dies, was weird. Like, we didn't have it beforehand, you know, and yeah. we didn't really talk to him much before either. He was just yeah. kind of there giving us rules because yeah, of rules. you get to know Barty Crouch a lot more throughout the story and in, in the book. <laughs> Who's this guy? Uh, the Minister of Magic. Fudge. Fudge. Cornelius Fudge. Licorice snap. Ew. I don't know what licorice snap is. You'll see. Man, I wish I had closed doors like that. 
You could have just closed it when you walked by. No, it's a much cooler. No, it's so much cooler. It's like when you walk by the automatic doors in Walmart and you go like this. Yeah, and I turn around. I, I do that all the time. I stare at people as it close. <laughs> <laughs> it's glass. They still see you. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh. Dude, that's fucking bullshit, Why man. Would you, I'd be freaking the hell out. Why would you eat these? Yeah, what if it bit your tongue or your stomach or something? They're like leeches. Now they're just going to be roaming the castle. Do they only wake up your, your feet and stand. shit? Oh, it's just the, the memory place, right? The pensive. 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 Come to die. That hasn't happened yet. I, I think know, it's a different... I know. Couldn't be in the pensive. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so with the pensive, can you watch anybody's memories or is it only yours? You can take somebody's, you have to have that strand of memory and you could, if they give that to you and you put it in your pensive, then you could, yes. Oh, uh, okay. That's how we get to this. But right now we're going into Dumbledore's memory. Now when that happens, whoever does it keeps that memory. Or is that memory gone from their memory and they can watch the memory? Uh, I think that you can still think like is of it. It's it like a copy? It's I think not it's like a, a removal, yeah, right? It, I, I think it might be a copy. Yeah, because you wouldn't know to yeah. go to grab that memory to watch so. it if you didn't know what the memory yeah, was. If you had files of it, you could watch oh, it. Oh, there's our boy. Uh-huh. I always, Calvin, I always love the way this guy says junior. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sometimes I think, like, so all the stuff that happens, I'm like, man, you go to jail for that. But then I see, like, when they're actually imprisoned, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. Are these wands all around them? Is that what that is? No, or are those spikes. spikes. It's like a, uh, oh, shoot, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. <laughs> That's the real moody there. That woman again. Yep. Yep. Oh. So is that the first time that we've heard that Snape was a Death Eater? I believe so. I don't so. remember hearing it before. But he turned before the fall. Well, in a previous book, that's on the first book, they suspect of him, right? I love this. <laughs> Torture. Ah, uh, long bottom. Look how handsome he is there. Yeah. <clears throat> Moody, man. Uh huh. He looks so much more respectable there, too. Yeah. Except when he's snarling. <laughs> yeah, that, the tongue thing's the exact same thing, and yeah. it had to have been what triggered him when he yeah, saw that, it right? Triggers him. Yeah. They, they had to kill him. It's the is Barty Crash Jr. coming out of the? <laughs> you imagine finding this kid in your memories? <laughs> but he saw him in the vision, right? So he can pinpoint that because that's also the same one he saw doing the thing. But yeah. he didn't know who it was, right? Yeah. I don't know. If, he said that he didn't see his face mm. when he shot at the dark mark. That eye. Yeah, I mean, you know, with with Michael Gambon, I loved him in three. I didn't love him in this one, and then I, I think I liked him in the rest. Yeah, 
I liked him more on the rest. He's he's just a little mm. he's a little like I can't see Richard Harris being like grabbing Harry and throwing him against the wall like <laughs> you know? something that could also be related to like the director we had. Well, right? yeah, yes, and no. I, I like Michael Gandon just Michael Gandon like he chooses not to read the source material. He wants to not be corrupted with that. He wants to have an acting process that's just the script in the way that he wants to do it. You know, which I think is good for non adaptation stuff. Yeah, but he just doesn't feel like Dumbledore to me in this movie. Can he remove the dream and monitor it through the pensive? So, oh, I don't believe so. That's what I would do. Like, give me this. Give me your dream. I don't think that you can... Now, you can mess with your dreams or your memories. Hmm. You can try... You know, in the sixth movie, Slughorn does that. He tries to amend his memories so he's not seen as somebody that's done something wrong. What year did this come out? Uh, This one? I'm not sure exactly. This is before he was ever Doctor Who, right? No. I think it was after. Oh, after? Yeah. Or during. Okay. So now he knows they were both Death Eaters. Mm Mm-hmm. Ingenious. I love Alan Rickman. Oh, is he missing some gillyweed? Oh, well, Neville took it. Hmm. Red to serum. <laughs> Regrettably. <laughs> 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 what is pumpkin juice like? Yeah, it's probably like those pumpkin it's coffees than, and it's stuff. It's probably better than that. Uh, I can't juice. imagine it's, it being it's, that good. It's gotta it's, be great. It's pumpkin spice. <laughs> So somebody is stealing ingredients for Polyjuice Potion. I like that they've seeded that because it's the second time. You know, Myrtle mentions it, and then you have him talking about the ingredients for the Polyjuice Potion that's missing. Yeah. So it's like, hey, you know, look at this. I think it's subtle enough where, like, you're just not, if you know, the average person just wouldn't pay attention, I think. Well, and then you get the tongue thing, too. Yeah. You know, like, there's lots of little clues that, hey, you know, you got Mad Eye here doing this. Dude, they're doing the Macarena. I guess it's a better version, but it's it's great. It's a lot better. What they, the? <laughs> they're voting for Crumb. <laughs> well, does Jacob do anything in this movie besides uh, this weird antagonist? Not really. He's the ferret thing is all he does, okay. really. I'd be weird just to be handed that script to go, oh, I guess I, in this movie I don't do much. Yeah. He, he, I think he knows that, or at the very least we know that book six, he got a lot to do. Yeah. You know? Moody would have. Again, something you can't see. Can't see in that maze once they go in. Who's that guy? That's his, uh, dad. his, his dad. That's his dad, man. It's the one of the guys that was kicking in the air as they were coming down the port key. Oh. Crom! <laughs> Come on, louder! <laughs> what is he doing? Putting away his polyjuice. He, he put the cup in the middle of the maze. So there's a spell, or supposedly there's a spell <coughs> that as soon as you touch it, you're the winner. You're you're the winner of this task, and then your points or whatever. Actually, I think you're just the winner if you touch it first. The points are about who who gets to go in the maze first. Mm. So all the like up the so point you got right points now, from the first two, and yeah. then the winner. So Cedric it. will be able to go in, and then like, I think Harry, and then whatever. Yeah. Uh, again, this I, I love this w- part in the book because there's so many more obstacles they have to get through. So and here it's just kind of like billowy and it's a dark maze. Yeah, but like there's a sphinx at one point that you have to like 
like a riddle. Its, you have to solve its riddle. There's like this, uh, there's this gas that once you go into it, everything appears as if you're upside down. I couldn't remember any of that. Yeah. There's so creatures it. and so stuff in there. that up, didn't he? Like Hagrid is told to get some creatures and throw it in there. Hmm. It's kind of disturbing, though, in the movie when you see people get dragged underneath. Yeah. It kind of sucks. <laughs> that way. Dumbledore is a little uneasy. But hell, I mean, it closes Jeez, up behind you. Like, they can't even watch him go down the, the one w- the, road they yeah, can the, see. The road. Sucks, man. Moody, though, he can see everything. So, did do they... They don't all go down the same way, then. They do in the book. They don't here. Just one long, straight stretch. Yeah. You get lost forever in this. I mean, it's a little bit of luck, right? Uh, in this one, yeah, it's mostly luck, I think. There's not much magical things you can do. Yeah, because doesn't the, uh, hey, that's a the maze labyrinth. like reorder yeah. itself sometimes? I think so. Yeah, like certain halls will close. In this one or in the book? Uh, in this one too. <clears throat> I think it's only this one. I don't know if they. I do mean, we saw the book. entrance close. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it does in the book as well. Yeah. Man, that guy can work his eyebrows, can he? That is fucking Batman, dude. Yeah. It's Run! Lems, they close up in on you. Then you're stuck. Yep, you're you, trapped until you gotta, they get you out. You gotta send up sparks. Who? He sounds like he's freaking out, dude. That would suck. Man, Crumb has like a Dooku wand. I yeah, say, he that does. wand has a curve on it. Looks just like a like a twig of a branch mm, kind of thing, stuff, you know. Yeah. I don't think it's an Ollivander wand. No, <laughs> Ollivander probably look at him in disgust. Yeah. <laughs> She sounds scared. And the book does it go in more of like why the uh, goblet chose each of these or anything? Like, do you get to know more about? You're just the most worthy. Like Crumb, I guess Crumb, you got like he's the best seeker, so you know that he's good with some things. But like Floor, we don't. I feel like we know the least about her. Yeah, uh, I mean, in terms of the goblet, it's just you put down your name and you put down what school you're in, and then the goblet will pick the most worthy. That's the magical spell. Dude, this is terrible. What yeah, the it's hell? Terrible. Yeah. He just it's leaves like her? Evil Dead. Yeah, he did that to her. Oh, he did that to her. Yeah. If you notice, his eyes are cloudy. Mo- like he- Mo- Moody has him under the Imperious Curse. Oh, okay. So you go through, you take him, and make sure that he takes out the rest of them. He's taking out everybody else but Harry. But they they mask it with this, like... Dumbledore saying, "Be careful! You might lose yourself or something." You know, which I don't. I guess they're just implying that the maze has like a magical property where you go insane or something. I don't know. Mm. That's but how I kind of figured. It's not. Yeah, you know, it's it's a little different. I can deceive you and Jesus, like that sucks, dude. What dude, happens to you? Get her out of there. The plants just take you. I hate the idea, like, in of that happening. He sends up the red sparks so that they come get her. Hopefully the magic rule, though, doesn't just suck him out of there instead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. What is that? Any of these, like, wind tunnels or something? Oh, uh, it's closing up. That'd be terrible to be just sucked into vines, yeah. sucked into the bushes and stuff. and Yeah. Maybe never seen again. It's kind of horrifying. Really like is. Like plant horror to me. Ugh. Ooh. I started kicking Why him out. Why did that knock him out? Started kicking him and shit. Expelliarmus just dis- disarms you. Dude, Cedric would outrun him. Look how much yeah, taller he, he is. He's bewitched. He's like a foot taller, too. They grab each other and stuff. That's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like the shot. First one to touch they're it. Both trying to get it, but they're both at the same school. 
Man, these vines. It is hitting him in the head. It's almost like running through a cornfield. Oh. Oh, another. I'd be cussing him out and shit. Jackass. This is another moody thing then. No, I think this is the actual maze itself. Yeah. Jeez. Like he doesn't have his wand. He can't send up sparks. He he could die here. Accio's Cedric. Reducto. What's Reducto again? I don't know. It's Maybe. a reducing spell. Or charm Mid or something. Kind of like in Gorgio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It sounds fake. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I think it's a movie spell. I don't think it's a book spell. Look at it up. He punches him, runs for the cup. <laughs> Kicks him in the nuts. Lose yourself. Eminem. Uh, it blasts solid objects into pieces. Yeah. It is in a book. Is it? Yeah. It's taught to Dumbledore's army later on. Hmm. Grab it together. Three, two, one. Regardless, it's a Hogwarts win. And Porky. It's a good thing that thing's sturdy. Stupid Porky's. I feel like it was an easier way to get Harry Potter to this place. Well, what if you probably couldn't do it from the school? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like the school's magic is... Well, yeah, they have, they have you a lot can't of them. apparate in the school, but I'm pretty sure you could do porkies. I don't know why would they would lift that restriction if there was one for Moody, you know? Yeah. I mean, without all this, just get a porky that only Harry touches. No one else notices or knows. He's just gone, disappears. Yeah. You know, that's a better option. Instead, like they're like, where well, the hell they go? If it's in the school, then maybe they can trace you yeah, easier. Yeah, you know I mean, like Cedric still thinks this is part of the game right now. You know? Yeah. Ugh. Look at that little Ugh. thing. How is he? How is he that? They did some magic to put his spirit into this kind of fake body. I thought J.K. said it was actually a baby. Like a, and then he's just fucking dead, man. That's terrible. Yeah, dude. I hate this guy. I wish the werewolf would have eaten him. Look at that little fuck. Oh! He's actually... I think he's using Tom Riddle's wand right there. Yeah, he is. With the hook? Yeah. Dude, this is... Ugh. Uh, it's like boiling a chicken. Yeah. This is a dark spell, man. It's a good thing he's already dead. Yeah. I like that it's not just ingredients, but it's the manner in which you take them. You cut off another finger. Oh, that was a whole hand. Flesh. You need that much flesh? Just cut off a little chunk of you. You have to take these in certain ways. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I feel mm. like I feel like the spell would be even harder if it was like willingly sacrificed from the blood of your enemy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you right. know, like how do you get that? I mean, you gotta have, to have a servant. I don't have a servant. You know, I gotta get a servant so I can do the spell. Yeah, I have a servant wanted to bring you back so I can have my baby body turn to a big body. Gee, that's the thing I love about this. I mean, the transformation itself is cool, but the smoke turns into his robe yeah it's so visually interesting and there's something about like the bare feet look to him you know like ralph fines is that how you say ray yeah i think it's ray fines Fines. ralph like the ear comes out the side he shaved everything off his head and he shaved his armpits too there's something about like the way he wanted voldemort to move that he wanted to have like i wanted to feel not normal, so I shaved my armpits. It just made me move a different way. Huh. Hmm. So see, was it last movie? Movie before. With like Tom Riddle in the diary and like it learning was, like who he was, right? That was, was the second two. movie. That's book that was two. the second one. So like he didn't look like that. No. 
<laughs> like the he had more, a nose and stuff. The more and more horror cruxes he made, the less human he is. Okay. Yeah. He so started turning more like, like a what, snake. That's what you look like when you have one eighth your soul <laughs> or something. I don't know. It takes away your nose. He did a lot of experiments on himself as well. Yeah. He thinks he's going to get a new arm. Yeah. And now he's going to see who's brave enough to come. You know what's weird is like the nose is obviously like CG'd out, right? Yeah. I wonder what he looks like. Well, it's well, it's 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 a, it's a very thin makeup, but it's yeah, he just has trackers on his on his nose. I just wonder what it looks like. Like if you're acting next yeah. to him, it might be kind of weird looking. I mean, he looks honestly, he looks exactly like that, just with a nose. So he's summoning his Death Eaters. Yeah, he's seeing who's brave enough to come. But now there's pictures. You can see pictures of him with the nose. Do those masks kind of remind me yeah. of uh, Kotor too? Darth Kylus or something like that, I think it is, or uh, Nihilus. Nihilus, yeah, yeah, that's it. But you know, uh, R- Rafe Fines or whatever, you know, and Mike Newell, the director, they were actually going to go no makeup with them and only have the nose part because they they didn't want it to get in the way of the acting ability. But then they saw one of the prosthetic people do a very very light makeup test, and they liked it so much that that's what they ended up with here. Is okay, he, is he killing all these guys? No, he's no. just taking their mask off. Lucius. Slippery. (laughs) It's such a cool, iconic villain look, isn't it? Yeah, he, he's a great villain, a great backstory. Warp tail. <laughs> Not loyalty. It's like... Hey, he gave him his hand back. New hand. Uh, better. It's like made of water. Yeah, I think in the book he like grabs like a branch or a brick or something and crumbles it like yeah. in dust oh, crushes man. it to dust <laughs> I love his performance here yeah I know <laughs> Eric what You know, Voldemort in the book is described as having red eyes with snake-like uh, pupils, pupils but are. they obviously they didn't want to cover up a performance that Ralph Fiennes yeah. would give. The more so you put them under, the less they can actually... Just, it's just his eyes. When he first comes out, his eyes have the pupil look, but yeah, then it they does. go back to normal. I think another director or, de- or movie production designer would have went a little more crazy with Voldemort. And I, I like the more subtle. A little restrained. Restrained. Like he was I mean. definitely a human once. Yeah. So he so couldn't, couldn't touch because of his mom's spell? Because of the, the love magic that was used. But because he used his blood, now he can. <laughs> He's just enjoying the pain he gives, doesn't he? The way he moves is just... Get up, get up. There's something about the fabric of his cloak that's really billowy. He has these really long fingers. Uh Uh-huh. Look at that guy back there. (laughs) Did you see him? Oh, no. Crucio. Father, please. (laughs) That's always what I thought of, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he slapped Man, he it away. He just slapped it. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even use his wand. He used hand magic. <laughs> I'm going to kill you very quickly.
Did you guys ever see uh, Schindler's List? Oh yeah, yeah. He's so good in that. Yeah, he is. Oh, is it? Voldemort's I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't Vines. recognize him. He's he's, he's he, a secondary character. Yeah, he's one of the Nazis. Liam Neeson. Hey, Shane, that's what you say when we're playing... Uh, Smash Brothers? No, um, <laughs> when we're playing uh, The Last of Us. He always makes me move the camera around so I can s see as I kill someone. <laughs> that's what I would do in real life. Move the camera around? I would want to look at him. Move the camera. Like the... Oh! It's crazy that I can even block that. Yeah, how Expelliarmus... No, Expelliarmus is... Is it's a disarming a, spell. Yeah. Okay, so here's where the movies greatly mess up. So this, what happens right here when these wands connect, this is supposed to be a very special event where it's because Fox's tail feathers are in both of their wands and they're brother wands, so they don't want to fight each other. They're connecting like this. Mm -hmm. However, later, whenever there's having, when they have wizard fights, they just do the spell. They just do that effect. And they just ruin the idea. Yeah. I, t I think it's it's lazy, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Like I this do. right here, this is what's supposed to happen. When it happens, when Dumbledore and Voldemort are fighting and they do this. I thought you loved that fight. No, the fight after they do that is great. Oh, okay. But whenever they're connecting ones like that and they're doing their beam struggle. So what are these spirits mm -hmm. for then? That's Because that's the Frank dude this and is, Cedric, right? This is undoing the, the other, the so, last curses that they've done. Yeah, this is the wand is spewing out its spells in reverse. So that old man that Voldemort killed yeah, the shows guy, up. Right? And his parents. And now his parents have showed up. To Amos. So are they there helping him? Yeah. Or are they just. They're just echoes. They're not real. Can you imagine him going, ah! So they're like <laughs> distracting him for a minute yeah. for him. Yeah. No! <laughs> no! So that wand killed Cedric, it killed Frank, it killed Look the at this parents. part. This part uh, sucks, uh, dude. So terrible. And they showed up in reverse. Everyone's cheering. That music. Flitwick. <sighs> Turn the fucking music off. What do they think that happened for the last 47 minutes? You huh? know? Right? He's like waiting around. <laughs> he grabs Harry. sucks yeah i love this guy's performance yeah. i know it makes always, me fucking so sad always makes me cry yeah dude man <sighs> well chose signal yeah now, Cedric's dad does well. I, I like Harry's performance there, too. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. He told me to bring the body I back, mean, you know? Yeah, Dumbledore did well there. And I, I like Cornelius, Cornelius Fudge, the way he was doing it. It was a very good scene. It's one of those things where you're like, man, that was the climax. And you're like, oh, shit, yeah, we have to deal with Mad Eye Moody still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he takes him away from Dumbledore, you know? the last thing you would do after hearing that Voldemort's back. This is a hell of a plan. <laughs> it is. He didn't expect Harry to come back. No. Now he's locking everything. And It's weird because I feel like that's not Mad Eye Moody. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. I feel like it's David Tennant, but I feel like David yeah. Tennant doesn't get a, enough time to shine. No, I get you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ugh. 
Ugh. He's kind of been with him, right? In his like a little baby form. Yeah, but not his fully realized form for many years. Yeah. And he's just obsessed, you know, it's a cult. Yeah. yeah. God, we need to get a cult. Well, he's out now, huh? Yeah. Well, good thing it ran out right now. <laughs> <clears throat> All of his ingredients are gone. All of his pre-made poly juice is gone. Wait, how'd you know the graveyard? Open the chest. He just keeps looking for more potion. <laughs> so that's how Cedric knew. Makes more sense. I'm like, how the hell did he just happen upon putting this egg in the water? Yeah. <laughs> Picture that one, the one eye and the other eye all wonky. He keeps squeezing it. Yeah. It's disturbing. Ugh. All right. Ah, uh, I'm glad Dumbledore oh, showed up. I like that rage Dumbledore. Yeah, I was gonna say I like this Dumbledore. Oh my like god! Like when it's serious, he should be like that, right? That, is that what you want? Yeah. They just poured that Veritaserum stuff. Veritaserum, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> that one <laughs> eye looked over this way. <laughs> Open O. Oh, jeez. It's like it's really cool because as you open the locks, you can put more and more stuff in th that. You know, if you open this lock and put stuff in there, and then open the next one, and now there's more room, you put stuff in there, and then the seventh lock is a well. Polyjuice potion. Watch him look over at Harry. Don't you say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, has he been just shitting down there? Or, I mean, he took his eye and his leg, you know? This yeah. is disgusting, dude. Oh, yeah, man. This is pretty gross. I don't remember seeing this with the polyjuice last time. It was a more drastic change. His eye's going to be popping in, his leg's going to appear and grow. Whoa. It's a, it's a fun transition. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish we got more David Tennant in this movie. Me now too. you do, right? Oh, when you yeah. first watched, you probably didn't really think about it. Why huh? isn't he in the later ones then? Barty Crouch Jr. is not in the later ones. Oh, he goes back to Azkaban, doesn't he? Um, I think the Dementors give him the kiss. Oh, okay. How did they not know they were in the same prison? The series was missing, and it was chaos. <clears throat> I think he, like, turned something into a body, and they thought he was dead or something like that. Okay. I'm saying, like, I'm not... It's not like, how do you escape? Because it's serious yeah. escape, and yeah. things happen, so fine. Sure, you escape. But, like, when serious escape, there was yeah. those... Uh, 
uh, Dementors. Wanted and there posters. Was wanted posters everywhere. I'm pretty sure the way Barry Crouch Jr. does it is kind of like Mask Zorro way of doing it, or Edmond Dantes. It's like know? he fakes his death and then, and then escapes, escapes as well. That way, yeah. <laughs> I kind of wish you would have gotten to know Cedric in like previous. Yeah. Was he in the books at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, the seeker for Hufflepuff that Harry goes against in the third book, I think. Uh, see, having that a little bit more in the movies, I think, would have been a little it's, more. Yeah, same thing. Because like, he's an interesting character yeah. here, but I would have liked to have had him more. You know, like if Ron died yeah. here instead. Yeah. Like, you'd be like, damn, man, Ron has been with us since book, book yeah. one, movie one. It's the same thing with, uh, like with Cho Chang. Like, Harry notices her a lot more in that. And here she's kind of shows up. Yeah. You know? like, I don't even remember her as a character. No. But who won the tournament? I guess Harry. Cause and then they never come back after this, do they? I mean, yeah, he didn't die, and he got the trophy. <laughs> they have black flags up. Yeah. Man, if Cedric would have grabbed that thing went back. Yeah. He could have at least told them, and they could have came back to stop mm-hmm. him. If Harry hadn't have been such a good guy and said, together, we'll do it together, Cedric wouldn't have died. True. I mean, he still might have. Cedric may have just gone in, like if he let Cedric go instead, or if Harry just went by himself. Well, Cedric wasn't going to take it himself because like Harry if, if saved Cedric him from got the vines. captured by the vines, like he never would have gone with him, you know? Mm hmm. But then do you want to see Harry Potter be like, no, leave him to the vines. <laughs> I'll no, this. no, of course. But that's yeah. the, I mean, that's the thing that, you know, the kind of person Harry is, he's going to blame himself for it. Mm-hmm. It's the catch 22. They were like there though, they were there. Yeah, I think they call them like echoes, like they're just like a. It's not them. It's like a. It's like a shadow. It's an illusion. It's the same thing like with the mirror. Like you're not actually seeing your parents. You're seeing what you want to see. Yeah, but the mirror like didn't. They were just there. They weren't talking. You know? yeah, they didn't no. say this one. They were like, grab yeah. that port key and get yeah. out of here. But, you know? They were like and they distracted Voldemort. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. the other one was like, hey, you know, get my body back to my. They dad. were. I mean, they were physical manifestations, but they weren't them necessarily yeah. like copies of them because we do see later in the in the series Harry has the stone of resurrection he actually does kind of summon them but they're not alive they're still dead I wish my school had a stick <laughs> right join the color guard hey aww he got kissed by two Delacours. Ron is awkward this whole movie. Yep. I kind of like the uh, Beau Baton, like dress code that they have. Like they're like bluish. Yeah. M- like it's like a witchy hat, but it's not yeah, a witch I hat, you, you know? Like it's yeah. got a little bit of that point to it. And I like when they walk. Like the way it goes Ron. up. And <laughs> no, I, I understand. I get you. It's but, it's kind of like like that's probably my favorite part of it. Yeah, look to it. Yeah, it's got a fashion but a witchiness to it. Yeah. at the same and these time, these guys you can just tell it's cold as hell where they're from. It is Russians, man. That's all they are. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Russian school. Always like his delivery. Yep. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't get it. They're just like, all right. Yeah, I know. At home. Yeah. It's like, wait, there's Voldemort out there. He's oh, no, going to yeah. kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at least Harry be, you know. He's protected, though, until he's like 18. And, well, and then, as we see in the next movie, almost nobody believes him. It's only Harry's word, you know? Yeah. And. I mean, Dumbledore seemed to believe no, him. No, Dumbledore does. But yeah. it's Dumbledore, Harry, you know, his friends, the Order of the Phoenix, nobody else will. Because even the uh, ministry, like. They yeah, Cornelius they don't Fudge believe him. refuses to, be, to believe it. Cornelius is a fucking fuck, man. Yeah, he is. He's a fudge. <laughs> he is a fudge. So do they go all the way along the river, or does that somehow like just go I down to Russia? I think it's just a teleportation thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, I think they. Maybe. I think it's just submarine. It's just underwater. Yeah. Hmm. It's weird to make a boat like it just, be that long. It makes the trip. I mean, like yeah, quickly, but. I think it's just a lock. That, like I don't know if that's connected to a river. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, it's it's a lock that goes out into the, <sighs> yeah. um, the North Atlantic. Does it? Yeah, because it's just like a, like a big yeah. lake that's connected. Well, there's no banging in the credits this time. Yeah, the, the, like I said, the weirdest thing to me there is that you, if, especially if Dumbledore believes what happened is what happened. You know, and how Cedric died. Yeah. Um, you know, he even talked about like the parents and talking about the wand and all that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like Dumbledore would be like, "Don't take Harry. Leave Harry somewhere safe. Not don't just go back home or whatever." True. You know. But Harry going back home is actually the safest place he could possibly be because of the magic that his uh, his mom placed on on him. That they ha he has that kind of ancient magic shield because of his mom. Yeah. Living with his mom's sister is actually one of the safest places he could be. Oh. Yeah, he's protected. Well, I thought, he's like 18, I right? thought you said that the blood thing, he can touch him and he can kill him. And yeah, um, there's some kind of like, like ancient magic that Dumbledore has done that when he's at the Dursleys, he's actually safe. Huh. Like he's like, you know, this kind of weird bubble. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I then. think the the uh, the rebounding thing is the one thing that's gone now. You know, so when he throws a killing curse, it won't rebound now, you know, and he can actually physically touch him. Can I do an autopsy? But he can't go into the Dursley's home. Okay. Hmm? Can I do an, aut an autopsy on Cedric and on see, Cedric? like, how he was killed? Uh, Yeah, which I guess what they would do is just see that there's absolutely nothing wrong with him because the only thing Avada Kedavra does is you're just dead. But there's no, like, you just sign stop that living. you're dead. Yeah, that's it's why not like uh, there's in some the beginning of the in your movie, body or something. when Frank goes in, the the caretaker goes in. He's talking about like it was so weird. These people were just dead. You know, we had no idea what happened. They just had these weird looks on their faces. They must have been frightened to death, is what the coroner said. But there was physically nothing wrong with them. They were just dead because the Death Eaters came in and killed them. Because uh, yeah, well, it was because Tom Riddle killed his family. Um, yeah, because he didn't want his blood being out there. Because it could be used against them. It was a weakness that he didn't want exploited yeah. against them. Use their they blood they and dive more into it in the Half Blood Prince book because, you know, Tom Riddle, his mother used a love potion on his father. So he was born from a union with no love, you mm -hmm. know, is one of the things. And then when he found out, you know, that his, his dad and his family rejected these lowly, inbred Slytherin people, you yeah. know, and he killed them all for it. The other thing the movie doesn't seem to go into too much is uh, it, it, when they walk by and there's Snape and the Russian dude, mm -hmm. the Kar Karkarov or whatever, Karkarov, yeah. and he like they're like showing the the tattoo. Yeah. Like I don't feel like anything really came of that except for like yeah. trying to misdirect you, being like, "Hey, look, there's Death Eaters," and they mention Snape's yeah. a Death Eater, and then you see, "Hey, there's two Death Eaters in here talking." But it's it was I think it's 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 supposed to make you think Kakarov is the one that's doing things because this guy is definitely a Death Eater, you know. And he's showing Snape, who we know was also. A I just want to know what they were talking about in there. Yeah. It's like, but look. Well, yeah, what they were talking about. <laughs> you know? it, it goes into it, but what they were talking about was that he can feel something is happening. Like I feel something in the dark mark, and I've never felt that for. Okay. Well, he well, had some like you should too, or don't you too, or something. Yeah. I, I didn't know what he was. The dark about marks get like like a tattoo. Like mm -hmm. they get darker the more power that Voldemort has because yeah. it's like a connection well, to each of Death Eaters. The and then whatever, whenever he yeah. touches it, he's summoned. Like, that means yeah. come to me now. Apparate to where I am. So, anyway, it's just that magic Kakarov gave up all of these names to save himself. He, in fact, actually, he goes into hiding after this movie. And I think they even just find him and killing him. Hmm. Like, yeah, the I, backstory. We'll never yeah. hear about it in the movies, but, yeah, he goes into hiding after this because he's afraid because he gave up all these names. 
and then Voldemort's men just find him and kill him. Yeah. So gotcha. good. Yeah. In fact, he went through a, a major like purge of all the all the Death Eaters and stuff. Mm. Didn't yeah. he? He what? Uh, Voldemort like purged a bunch of the Death Eaters that like, yeah, didn't punished, show up or the ones that, that you yeah. know that claimed that he yeah. wasn't real or whatever. I mean, Barty Crouch Jr. in the book, he like he asked like, did he punish them? Did he punish the ones? Who didn't give up their lives in the Azkaban and stuff? You know, that's what he's he's asking Harry uh, during that moment of like you know the graveyard. He wants to feel like to be in his presence, all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, that would be probably my favorite thing too. Is just Mad Eyes like, like I love the performance from him. Yeah. But also like as you go through like at least this movie here, the hints that you get. Yeah. And I don't know if you get those in the books as as easily or uh, you know how they come across. Like it's more subtle. Like does she write down like There's, he slings his tongue no, to the side of his mouth? You know, no, like they need a visual cue. Yeah. So that doesn't happen in the book. That's just a choice that David Tennant made. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like that. Like and having Brandon's that, and like, then you have them like, yeah. like I wonder how much those actors had to discuss, or if it was more of the director mm-hmm. of like here's something that Barty Crouch does yeah. and it's kind of a visual cue and like you got to kind of like act like each other a bit to make sure that yeah. you know your acting is the same char- character but different people you yeah. know yeah. but uh I mean like I said I, I think the one misstep it makes is like Barty Crouch you get a little bit of information and then he's dead you know but uh I mean in the book especially like you actually go to the trial of Barty Crouch Jr. in Dumbledore's memory and he's like this little innocent boy like you don't know that he's the bad guy and yeah, you have no idea. In fact, he's not even in that first vision that mm. Harry sees. You just see that Barty Crouch, man. He he set his own son with like no evidence to Azkaban because he was a hard line magical enforcer, you know. Yeah, and it was you, because you the kind Death Eater like, said that he was involved. Yeah, he said he was involved. So there was these, these other Death Eaters, and then there was Barty Crouch Jr. who was begging for his life, saying, "Father, it wasn't me. I didn't do it." You know, yeah, all that stuff. And you kind of get the feeling like, oh my God, maybe. He, Barty Crouch, he's so hardlined against Voldemort. Maybe he did something with the Triwizard something. I don't know. Like, I think I trust him. Well, I remember reading the book and thinking that maybe he, like, went to prison innocent and then yeah. converted there. Yeah. And then devoted his life to the to Voldemort. Yeah. So, there. like, in this one here, you get, like, he's it clear. was me. You know, that kind of, yeah, like, you, oh, it's clearly that guy. He's, he's bad. clearly the villain <laughs> from beginning to end. And yeah. in that one, he's more innocent. And then. And then later, you know, because I think Harry talks about, like, I thought you were the innocent one. You were screaming. He's like, no, I mean, I tried to get out of going to prison, but everybody else, they gave up names. And then when they were, they had their freedom and they didn't go look for my Lord. As soon as I could, I went and looked for him, you know. Uh, Another little cool thing in in the book is that if I remember correctly, so how it goes in the book is that Barty Crouch sends his son to to prison. His wife... If, correct me if I'm wrong. Barty Crouch's wife is like distraught and forces Barty Crouch to sneak his son out of prison. They fake his death and then he has him under the Imperius curse. The for son? Years. The son for years, keeping him like locked away. And then like his mom dies and he somehow like eventually learns how to break the curse. And then he puts like his his father on the, or the curse or something like that. I can't that. remember. That sounds but right. There's something like that. That sounds right. Um, so there, the Barty Crouch is not innocent at all when it comes to this stuff. He eventually, like you know, he deceives the Azkaban and everybody, and keeps his son in the ministry only because he loved his wife, not because he loved his son. Gotcha. You know, and then uh, I, I think there's something there. I haven't read it for a long time, but I think yeah, that's it's what been a while. Is. But that's yeah. definitely yeah. But obviously, familiar. you know, they gotta cut stuff, cut stuff, cut stuff, and then add in a three and a half minute dragon chase. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm curious on like the ideas of like taking those and extending them to making yeah. them work for you know the the books of the story and yeah. actually like it'd be cool to see more of the dragon fights or it'd be yeah. cool to see you know a little bit more of like what the Triwizard Cup is sure. or not cutting out some of that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. You don't there, you don't miss what you don't know. Yeah. And if you don't read the books, then you don't realize you're missing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. The the one thing for me that the movies just can't really achieve as well as J.K. Rowling did in those books is the feeling that Harry has, especially like how lonely he is without Ron, how nervous he is before the first Triwizard thing, you know, like just reading it, there's something about the way she captures that you like, you are so afraid for him or you feel so bad for him yeah. that the movie just can't do, you know? So gotcha. it's because you're going to have any character's mind versus watching what he's doing. Yeah. 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 It's easier to be in someone's mind in a book yeah. than I feel like watching an actor. Yeah. Cause then you got to have like an outer monologue or a, yeah an inner monologue of some sort or something and you know? I, I love how easily it was how easy it was for her to nail especially the awkwardness of those teenage years yeah <laughs> and she never experienced what it was like to be a boy at that age you no. know but she nailed it so 
anyway all right. all right yep well i think that is going to be it and uh there's going to be another poll over at patreon.com slash blind wave where you can choose we have it every week a reaction to commentary so every uh, week we will see what happens next but thank you guys I have a prophecy of what it could be thank know. you thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the commentary and you want to vote on the next commentary or the next reaction make sure you guys go over to patreon.com slash blind wave you can vote there also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out because we have a new movie either reaction or commentary coming out every week mm -hmm. as well as our regular content um like game nights and uh reactions mm. and all that 